from Sunny Isles. We have some special guests. Who the hell are you? John fucking Zerka. I'm a black man in Miami. Black man. I'm a nigga. <laughs> and who are you, my friend? Uh, following that up, I guess I'm a white man in Miami. Uh, 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 the white devil, then. Oh, the you guys devil. rule the world, apparently. Devil's advocate. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter what the shade is. It matters what the last name is, if you know what I mean. Whoa, whoa, bro. I'm trying to get... I know, we're on I know. Kick. We can say we're, that. We're right? starting real soft. Wow. For anyways, I wanted to come out with a bang because usually I'm the one here talking shit 24-7. But I figured, hell, dude, this guy is pretty good at talking shit himself. A three-life path. He doesn't know exactly what that means, it, but he's going to learn very quickly. Chase... Would you explain what numerology is to the fine folks out there? And then I can start explaining how the elite actually use this in everyday life. You're going to love this, John. Okay, so the way I think about it, and I've learned from Gary, it's like your imprinted code. If you think of coding or software development, you're basically born with a hardwired, you know, personality or imprint of the energy that you're, uh, that you're expressing. And what you attract is dependent on that, you know, what you go through in life, the certain life lessons or levels of depression you're meant to go through are all based around that sort of stuff. But I'm know, still learning, too. So give it back to Gary. You know, if John would to hear you, he wouldn't be sold on that shit for a second. But you, <laughs> saw, you suck at this. You're good. But, 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 but he's see, good. But see, no, 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 no. It's okay. He's young. But here's the whole point. It doesn't matter what you believe. It doesn't matter what the fuck they believe. It doesn't matter what I believe. It matters what the people on top do. And if you look at the people on top, they always do certain things on certain times. So you tell me if you think this is a coincidence. 9-11 happened on the 11th. First plane to hit the World Trade Center is Flight 11. Uh, New York City, 11 letters. Afghanistan, 11 letters. The, the New York is the 11th, let, uh, the 11th uh, state in the union. Do you think that's a coincidence? Absolutely not. You look at Freemasonry with the towers, twin towers. That's, that's the Solomon Brothers towers. Mm. Soul of man, seal of Solomon. And it's the two uh, Jock and Boaz Freemason towers. And they're meant to go down on a certain zodiac alignment. And people who think we're just fucking retards who talk about this shit. <laughs> the, the only people who talk about doing stuff on certain dates are billionaires. Mm. Not, ju not just JP Morgan. Like only billionaires study astrology millionaires don't the the quote was um bill millionaires don't study astrology but billionaires do by jp morgan now you know what they study even more than astrology oh, that's a real quote yes yeah, that's that a real quote you know what they study even more numerology because what this is this is not a, that gay gematria no, no, shit, no, no, the no, no, real no. shit well, 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 actually i think <laughs> gematria is real because the no no the, the youtubers that real. do it no 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 they're frauds shitty. they're frauds here you know how you can tell they're frauds they're broke okay I'm not broke. I'm the only one who's actually making bread in this game. So when it comes down to it, that's how you judge people. Do they have any real references? And you know how we keep count? By your bank account. You know, are you going to go to a financial advisor who's broke? No. You won't see me fucking selling fucking workout equipment because you know, it wouldn't matter. The, so, the first Wall Street guys I worked for, they don't have coaches, therapists, nothing. They have a psychic team and a numbers <laughs> guy. I'm like, what the fuck? They don't have what you think they have. They do like rituals of what the fuck? They get to Wall Street guys, bankers. They hide knowledge so they can play God. It's like if you hide the knowledge from, you know, the population, they're at a disadvantage. They don't only, they don't only hide it. What they actually do, work in progress. They, they, what they actually do is they spread misinformation for other people to be off. Like, for instance, they put the, the astrology by the comics in the, in the newspapers to make it seem like a joke. But, and then they have a woman who's divorced three times selling matchmaking advice. Yeah. And, and because it's a woman talking, we all go astrology's, astrology's bullshit. She's mm -hmm. like, I'm a Pisces. I'm this. I'm yeah. that. They did that on purpose, though, to feminize it, to steer men away from learning about it. And who, who what was the ancient civilization that was obsessed with astrology? And uh, all the, of the, them. the Greeks, the Babylonians. The Egyptians were the go best. Down the, down, go down the They're list. They're by far the what best. What was the little device they used to, like, be able to pinpoint where the stars and moon is? or? Well, where? the square and compass the, the stone masons used first. But actually, it's interesting. At the highest level of this astrology, there's a lot of math and science involved. It's like a shit ton of work. Right. Well, uh, when it comes down to it, you can always tell things by certain numbers on people's chests. Like, for instance, um, when you look at Hollywood, OK, you look at Gementria, you might say it's not that strong, but still real numerology. I'll explain it. When you look at the word Hollywood, it has three O's. O is the 15th letter. 
One in five is six. So Hollywood is actually six, six, six. See, that would be a much better short than actually is the podcast, Wait, they, but you'll see it. They say that for Fox News too, right? Of course, Fox News That's is correct? six, six, 100%. Okay. They all do that on purpose because they want subconsciously to pay homage to certain people. There's 13 Illuminati bloodlines with the Rothschilds on top. So what they do is they pay homage in real, real sneaky ways. Like, for instance, everyone's heard about the 1849 gold rush, right? But there's a team called the 49ers. They're going to use the excuse as 1849, but for real, it's 4 and 9 is 13. Homage to the Illuminati families. Uh, McDonald's, M. M is the 13th letter. Homage, Marathon, M. Uh, the 76ers, 7 and 6, 13. Homage to the top of the food chain, hidden in plain sight so plebs can't see it. You made me think of science. You know how they say atoms have six neutrons, six protons, and six electrons? Yep. and you know, like Adam, Adam and Eve, and we're all made of atoms, you know. <laughs> Every, the English you stole that from me. The English <laughs> language is all about spelling. It's no, like casting it, a spell. People who think that number stuff is just schizo posting, you know, those kind of weirdos. Believe it or not, each letter in any alphabet is assigned a number, and the numbers are not made by man. They're discovered, meaning they're here. They're spiritual. Mm -hmm. So each num the, the numbers are the most important thing. 100%. Numerology supersedes any form of astrology. You know, the most sacred number of all is 33. And when it comes down to 33, um, the Freemasons basically made a Fahrenheit system when they came to America. And water is still frozen at 32 Fahrenheit, but the 33 turns liquid, mm -hmm. which basically means it's illuminated, which is the highest frequency you can reach. Uh, if you go throughout history, some of the greatest people were 33 life paths. You're Albert right. Einstein, uh, the Wright brothers, Thomas Edison. <laughs> These are all people who were trailblazers. The mm. first guy who invented the bench press was a 33. The first guy who, uh, the guy who invented basketball, Dr. Yeah. Joe Naismith, was a 33 life path. So when you look at it, you understand people are good at certain things. My man over here is a three life path. What do threes do? They talk. They communicate. You want to talk about the letters? Communication starts with C. C is the third letter. It goes right back to you. You look at some of the better people out there. Crowder. Um, Michael, uh, what's his name? Rush Blimbaugh, in my opinion, is probably the best of all time. He's born on the 12th. Uh, Howard Stern is born on the same day as Rush Limbaugh. How do you like that one? The kings of all media have it right there. Then it's, then oh, it's, really? Yeah, same birthday. Howard Stern and uh, Rush Limbaugh. For me, the smoking gun was on the 33rd parallel. The 33rd parallel has most of the world's banking? Correct. Is that correct? Yes. That's insanity. Like, why? what are the chances worldwide they all chose there because 33 is the number of influence so if you want to spread influence with your financial currency you want to have her under certain just like there's certain lay points all over the earth and you yes. have pyramids uh, oh. all over so you're the first person to know about this they talk about i've read this in, in this was hard to find ley lines energy points that crisscross the world Correct. and that's where car accidents happen on the crosses but, and and they would build churches on certain ley lines but mostly pyramids all the pyramids, pyramids in yeah. Giza well, are all there all yeah. the biggest pyramids in the world are not in Egypt they're in Bosnia they're under they're under the fucking ground that, that means they've never picked a fucking hill and said go build the temple of worship there they would pinpoint yes. where to build yes yes People and is smart. that the same for big NFL games, Super Bowl? I'm, they I'm, say I, that they say they're harvesting energy off these Super Bowl games. Here's and, what I'm going to tell you about big time NFL. Um, they don't really fix too many uh, regular season games because no one cares. But Super Bowl, it's more about the halftime show, more about the influence the kids to be a certain way the propaganda if you look at the halftime show it's always some satanic and then it's shit. Rihanna doing yeah, of, yeah, course, it's always of some... course so they i think the halftime show is the most important part of the super bowl because th that's the only game people all over the world watch and the halftime show is like a a, a concert an event mm -hmm. so i think that's like one of the best ways for them to brainwash society so that's why they pick it but yeah there's the numbers are everywhere for you to even recognize stuff like that tells you a lot well, how'd you get into this? 9-11. The numbers? Yeah, 9-11. It just didn't make sense how, like, for instance, I, I talked about all the 11s in 9-11. Like, you know, uh, every single aspect was 9-11. Um, but I'll tell you something interesting. Uh, in 1984, in 1984, uh, Bell was basically broken up, the Bell companies. 
which and, comes from uh, Beal and Ball. There you go. And basically, Basketball. and basically, these guys. I'm telling you, dude. And basically, these guys in 19. I, I forgot the year, but it was 33 years before 9/11 hit. They basically released a police code for homicide and emergency as 9/11. So, not in 33 years before 9/11 actually happened, the police code turned to 9/11. I think it was 68. And the head sheriff of every police force is a 33 degree Freemason. In most, in most, but I want to make this abundantly clear about Freemasons. They have you no are power. one. Let's no, see I'm that not, tattoo. I'm not a Freemason. Let's, let's see the I'm tattoo. Free- show the fucking tattoo. I'll, I'll show the tattoo. This is why you keep saying they're not, not that important. They're I'm, not big I'm, movers I'm, and shakers. What the fuck I, is okay. this? I am not a Freemason. I am a 33 life path in numerology. I'm going to make this real simple for you because you understand how numerology works. Um, they pretend to be 33s. I'm a 33 by fucking birthright. See, there's a difference. They're pretending to be something. They're going through all these rituals. I'm actually born with that birthday. My number adds up to 33, just like yours adds up to three. We're good, both good at talking. We're both. You're good telling at me they there. never scouted you since everyone no, knows you're the them. reading and numbers I, guy. They I never scouted you. I no, they contacted then. you. Yeah, but I rejected them. I didn't want anything to do with it. You know who Frank Sinatra is? What do you say? What did he say? He said, it's my life. He said, it's my way. He did it my way. Now, if I'm going to sign up with some organization, can I actually go around the world, get 400 million TikTok and IG views in, the mo- in about six months? No, they wouldn't allow that. So I'm going to do things my way. It doesn't seem like you listen to many people either. No, that's kind of <laughs> bad, though. Why is that? Because I feel like the know-it-all, you never know it all, right? Mm-hmm. You can use them to program your subconscious. It's like you're stealing knowledge from them almost. Now, you, they contacted you, this and they said you're good at what you do? This, no, they didn't know anything too much about numerology, because I was only very young in the game. It was like 2003, they came up to me. I and it, was a, it was a guy called Mr. Freeze who came up to me. He was a 33rd degree Freemason, and he said, uh, you should join the Freemasonry. And I thought about it, and I said, no, I didn't want to join anyone. I was going to do it my own fucking way. You can look in my eyes and tell I'm not bullshitting. I do my things my way. I don't answer to anybody. So that's why I no, I, them. I've I've worked for Masons, and you know most of them are retards. Like most of them are they are just kind of in a club. I, I think they don't the, know I, shit. I, th- I think it's pretty much. But the billionaire Masons are not retarded. No, 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 Those no, guys no, no. Are, Listen, There's people at the top of any organization that actually are movers and shakers. But 99 percent of Freemasons are harmless, bro. Yeah, absolutely. They, they're grown men playing dress up. Yeah, the the, the, the small fish herd together to give the illusion that they're bigger. I I mean that's the number one thing people say is like. All these, I know when my uncles are Freemason and stuff, and it's like, we're talking about billionaires. We're not talking about your fucking gay uncle. We're talking about billionaires. That's the number one thing I get. I know a Freemason. He's not evil. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, like those little local lodges with your plumbers. Uh, and the the scariest there. part is most, even high-ranking Freemasons, they don't actually read Morals Dogma or any of the literature. Albert Pike. They don't know shit. You know Albert, Albert Pike? Of course I know Albert Pike. He said there's going to be three wars, right? Yeah. What's the last one? What's and the last one? What's happening right now? The last, yeah, he predicted three wars and what's exactly happening right now. Uh, he said the last war would be between Zionism and Islam, and they would exterminate okay. Yo, each other. you're the first person <laughs> in internet history to know this. I've been around every conspiracy table. Nobody knows about Albert Pike. This is the book. This is the Pope of Masonry. Yes, sir. Say the Zionism thing again. Say, what did he predict? I, 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 he said Zionism and Islam would go to war with each other. For and, a and, Luciferian and, utopia. And exterminate each, each other. other. Each yes. other. It said it was very point about this. Each other. Yeah, because everyone attacks me and they're like, no, no, it'll be just Zionism and, and I, at the top. I, I, I want Dude, people- it'll be a gay oral law Babylonian Luciferian uh, utopia. I, I, I don't think Islam's going to allow it to be a gay one. As a matter of fact, I think that um, Islam's sole purpose is the only religion growing right now, by the way. I think its sole purpose is to cleanse the rainbow. <laughs> Flat out. Wow. Flat out. That's what's wow. going to happen. I mean, I want you to think about this. All of those Im- immigrants and refugees who came to Europe in 215, they're mostly from Libya, mostly, f- and they were mostly Muslims. Muslims have more kids per capita than white folks and brown folks. So what happens is in a couple of generations, they change the demographics. When Muslims are about 40 to 50 percent of a nation, they start demanding certain type of laws. And um, I'm not sure the rainbow is very compatible with Sharia law. I mean, you just have to understand how stuff works, how demographic works. 
uh, things will change. Now, I'm not saying that's going to be in America anytime soon, but Europe is a much different case. Are you talking about like a global Sharia? You can see that? I can see it in I certain places. Know. In certain places, of course. I can see everyone believing in dinosaurs and science and wiping out all religions. That's what I see in the uh, Now, why is Islam the only religion growing? All the other religions are basically going down. Islam is growing because it's a counterbalance to the... Everything is yin-yang. So as that grows, Islam grows because it's but the you, only you're one. You're just pretending Christianity is going to go out without a fight. It's not going to come wh back wh hard. Wh where is it going to come back in the U.S.? Maybe it'll come back in Russia. Wh maybe when? in Poland. Maybe in those countries. It's not come doing anything in this country. If I'm wrong, tell me. When in history has Christianity just gone away? Like faded into the night? It, it, it comes it, back aggressive. It, 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 you think it's just going to be Russia. Islam? Maybe in Russia. Crisis maybe, king, maybe, the Christians are coming back. Maybe in Poland. Maybe in strong countries where men are men like Ukraine, where they're hardcore. I'm not too sure. Maybe in Belarus. I'm not sure about Canada, yeah, you're, you're, saying you're from, from Canada. Canada. I'm not saying Protestants are coming back. Catholics are coming back worldwide. What, what if people are just ready to go beyond... You know, religion, consciousness. That's what the Aquarius age is, but uh, Islam is going for a, re a reason. That's what I'm trying to tell everyone. Mm. And the only reason could be is a counterbalance to the rainbow. Mm. There's two, they, it, the two, two are rising up. You have natural polarities. People are going to go to the one or the other. Mm. It, it, you can say whatever you want about Christianity, but it's bet the freaking knee here in America, and especially in Canada where you're from. Yeah, I'm not defending gay Protestants, but I think there will be a look worldwide. When? Well, we just, it's some white George Floyd is going to die. Because there's going to be a white George Floyd that triggers everything. And then you owe me $10,000 if I'm correct and Christians come I, I, back. I'll tell you what. And I'm single. I'll bring it back. How about that? We'll get a Muslim guy to bring it back. How about that? Assalamu alaikum, brother. You know, uh, when you bring up George Floyd's name, it's very interesting because the elite always like to use certain names. Let's start, start with the tattoo. Start. You know, no, hold on, we'll go back to that. You know what I'm talking about? I got but George Washington started the American Revolution. George Floyd started the Black Lives Matter Revolution. They like using the capital G, G, the capital is the 33rd. Letter. No, mm -hmm. but if they capitalize it, it's the 33rd letter. So right. G, so yeah. you understand? That's why they always use a guy named George to start revolutions. See how that works? It's always hidden. You just got to know where to look, people. And he went to a certain lodge and he had a tattoo on his chest that said order out of chaos. Correct. And it was <coughs> the twin-headed eagle that points left and right, the Masonic eagle. Or, excuse me, east and west. If you really want to look at it, um, the Russian imperialism flag is pretty much the same with the Romanov family. The yeah. Polish oh, I got attacked Paris. online for saying this. For They're what? like, Russia's right. the good guys. I'm like, look at the flag. Look at their fucking Masonic flag. Are you fucking joking me? Okay, listen. Um, there are no I, good guys. You're I, seeing the good guys I, I, here. I, I, Hit I, I, subscribe I, I, and like I, I, our I, I, shit. He's good, man. When it comes down to good guys, I don't believe in that fairy tale of good guys. I believe there's evil and lesser evil. Yeah. Putin might be lesser evil, but make no mistake about it. This guy's a gangster, mm -hmm. okay? He runs Russia like a gangster. The, the fucked up thing is he's more legitimate than actually Joe Biden. Joe Biden is running a money laundering operation in Ukraine. Why do you think these fuckers who are politicians are so benevolent with your money, man? Why do you think they give it to Ukraine? Because it's a money laundering They're washing, operation. Yeah. They're washing the money. See, the DNC, right? Of course, because here in America, you basically have what you would call... Um, checks and balances. It's hard to steal money here. People might find you, but if you send it overseas, oh, no one's looking. And and, and they're good people. How are you mm -hmm. going to question people who are but, so noble to actually give your money so they can money? Obama is running the biggest money laundering operation in world history, and he's been behind Biden. He's been behind Trump. You know, uh, Biden's uh, tr Obama's the one that put Trump in power. He's the actually one who put him in president. I, I had an argument with someone for this, but I forgot what the argument was. What do you mean? If um, Trump lost the election, Hillary Clinton would have been uh, president and she would have controlled the DNC. Because she lost the election, uh, Obama took control of the DNC and he was handicapping Trump for four years through the deep state, through investigation, investigation. This is the Cliff Nose version. And then in 2022, uh, he basically stole the election. Oh, like a wild card. Yeah, yeah. Much. Okay, that's I can get on board with that. Yeah, one hundred percent. But you still happened. saying Trump got wild? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Of course. Listen, I was one of the first people who just support Trump in 2015. I went to the Trump administration in 2020 uh, when it was uh, basically. See, we're we're, we're on opposite so, teams. So, I came as a refugee from the Clint Clinton Foundation. Oh, fuck the Clintons. <laughs> I know fuck I, the, the demons Clintons. brought me, but we're on opposite teams, and that's why they say I'm CIA. Because I'm not CIA. They just brought me here as a refugee. Have you met the Clintons? No comment.
No comment. <laughs> you know, you, you know, met he, Trump face to face. No, I haven't met him face to face. Who did you meet at the White House? His his cabinet members. Cabinet. I, I did not meet Trump. That's all she's I can hot. say. She's hot. Yes, she is. She's, she's, hot. Hot. she's a five wife pack. Of course, she's hot. What is it? All five? women. All women who are born in the fifth, uh, 14, 23rd tend to be very attractive. So, for instance, the the reason you do pretty good with the ladies is because what day are you born on? 23rd. See how this works? Wait, wait, wait. You said fifth. The fifth, 14th, one and four is five. Oh. 23rd, two and three oh. is five. So anyone with those things is entertaining. Entertainer starts with E. E is the fifth letter. See how this works, bro? It's all about understanding how the sequence works. This is why you have the mouthpiece. This is why you go with why the Why you host. look at me like you know what he's saying? He's just, he he's knows just, exactly. He's been following me for years, bro. Is he white belt or what level is he at? Uh, he, well, you're a black belt, right? I'm, I'm the sensei, bro. What do you mean black Who's belt? Who's the competition for There is no competition, right. bro. Zerka, Zerka, have you started seeing numbers yet or synchronicities? Oh, competition! <laughs> all, all, all my life, but I don't trust my erratic brain. Mm -hmm. We you tap know, into mean? your intuition. Like, that's your, your gut is a second brain, and it, it's like always talking to you. And like, can you talk? Like, I started a certain, first thing I ever saw was 33, and then it went to 44. And then eight eight eight, and then it started becoming like colors and symbols. The, the, and the numbers that most people want, the the number that can give you evidence for the most is twenty eight. The number of wealth. So, like for instance, when people are born on the twenty eighth, like Elon Musk, when people are born on the twenty eighth, like Bill Gates, they get money at a much faster rate than most people. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, Apple, like for instance, Steve Jobs, he was born 224, 1955. But you're saying destiny, like they're born into that destiny. of Yeah, it's, it's basically what comes with that energy. And you're saying it's not 100%, they can rise to meet their destiny or well, they can well, choose well, to I'll, be a I'll, retard? I'll, I'll give you an example. If you're born on the 28th, you have a 30 times more chance to get rich than if you're born on any other day. Oh, percentage. So those, okay, percentage. Yeah, that makes way more so, sense. So when it comes down to a Bill Gates, uh, if you look at uh, Steve Jobs created Apple. Apple was founded uh, 4 one 1976 4 one 1976 as of the 28th. So you're going to notice a lot of these companies like Rolex. Go to any Rolex on your phone. You will see it's always the 28th. They have their things because that's the number of wealth. Even a company most of you guys don't know. See, you guys know what Apple is. You know what these billion dollar companies are. But do you know what trillion dollar companies are? Trillion dollar management asset companies like Vanguard. Vanguard is basically worth nine trillion dollars. That's who Apple goes to for money. That's who all the fucking hedge funds go to the money. And they were founded 5 1, 1975. Again, that is 28, but it's also on the Illuminati's birthday. 5 1. So the richest company in the world who's controlling everything, who's giving money to Apple, giving money to um, you know, Microsoft, giving money to Samsung. They were founded on the same day the Illuminati was born. Mm. Interesting how that works. Was that 1776? Yes, but they were founded in 1975, but it was 5-1. Five, 5-1 one. Five, one is 11 times 11. 11 times 11 is 121, so you have a, like a little pyramid. So the May, 5th, uh, May 1st is the 121st day of the year. So they always try to put their symbolism in there. You have to understand how you know when you'll work. believe this guy when you see that fucking view this guy's rich as fuck that's when you'll start believing <laughs> for right now you don't believe him you see some fucking wait, 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 black a fucking wait a stickers. second wait a second wait a second i just met you like what fucking 30 minutes ago you nailed ago? me you nailed me good he fucking did a i wouldn't call that a reading but you no, just got just, my birthday yeah, i just got your birthday what's the first thing i told you this guy says the worst your your life was 2012 when i graduated and i knew i couldn't do college i had to and, go and tell minimum wage year. and i tried to kill myself tell you what people year for you're 94. born in. you're born 94 2012 was his worst year 1994 was the year of the dog 2012 was a dragon year enemy signs bam that's how it happens bro everyone gets hit once every 12 years doesn't matter who the fuck you are so when you'd go out on a date with a girl you'd be like of when, course. when are you born you'd ask right away hey, hey brother i'm married like Two decades ago. But you I, didn't know this stuff back yes, then? Yes, I did. Of course I did. I was broke back then, but I learned how to use it to gain money. Not only that, I married a dime piece when I was fucking broke. You know, if you could, I brought you a bitch here, you'd tell me don't fuck to, with her? Yeah, of course. <laughs> easy. Okay. So like, I'm about instance, to bring him a hundred. No, no, no. So, <laughs> He's so, like, don't so, fuck so, with so, any so, of them. So, so what, happens, <laughs> what happens is you can tell a, what a woman likes what she's interested in, uh, if she's fucking has a high body count. Give an example. Give an example. Okay, for an example. Celebrity. Okay, example of a celebrity. Um, who the hell is born on a celebrity? Okay, uh, Leos. Leo women usually tend to be whores when they're in positions of power. 
They usually tend is it to Hillary be, Clinton. No, no, no. Well, she's a lesbian, by the way. She's not. Has actually. They a, say bisexual. Uh, I think uh, it's uh, lesbian. Uh, did you have, do you know where her assistant is? Uh, Uma, Uma, Uma Abedin. Yeah. So she's a five life pass. She's an attractive bitch. So women who are fives are attractive. I just said that. Beyonce. I'm not trying to get Beyonce killed. Beyonce Don't talk five. about Hillary. Man, fuck the Clintons. Yeah. Okay. Frazzle drip. Hey, hey, Obama, take care of those bitches. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Obama, take care of that shit. <laughs> Obama beat them in 2008. He beat their ass in 2016. Let their beat their ass again in 2020. So again, uh, I'm not pro Obama. I'm for lesser evil. Fuck the Clintons. Now hold on. If people who say she doesn't actually practice witchcraft, I, we're gonna go very quick so we don't fucking get killed. Her fucking email leaks. Mm. There's worshiping Moloch. What about Podesta? No, no, no. no. His okay. artwork. What about Podesta? Podesta pedo. Podesta pedo. They're fucking telling you. And by the way, that was the DNC who leaked that. Wait, shit. wait, is that for Nicole Kidman? They, yeah, there you go. They there do it go. for all of them. They do it for all of them. Okay. Again, you know how they had that um, pedophile thing? They had the pizza as pet. Well, pizza in numerology adds up to thirty-three. So they were trying to fucking do their little symbolism shit. Mm -hmm. I believe in Pizzi Gate one hundred percent because these people are fucking sick. Yeah, well, if you saw the James Elephantis Insta and all, uh, we're not going to get into that. We're not trying to get fucking banned <laughs> off everything. Yeah, that shit's real. But also in the Clinton email, she talks about sacrificing a chicken to Moloch. You see that email? Um, you know, sometimes people put stuff out there. Oh, to, my, you to, don't to, buy to, that email? You're, this is no, a fed. No, 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 He's no, no, a fed. No, 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 listen, listen. Sometimes people put stuff out there because they wanted to catch fire like Obama did with his birth certificate. He wanted that shit out there. He played that game. And then when it got all fucking mainstream, he fucking said, ha ha, bitch. Yeah. So basically, I think that's like one of those things. He, he milked Trump with yeah, that. Like, course. that was so smart. Of course. If you uh, don't know what I mean, there was a guy who uh, told everyone Zerka was with an underage girl. Now, I had proof, but I didn't leak it for one month. So he built a huge case against me online just to make him look even more retarded when I dropped the proof, right? That's exactly what he did with the birth certificate, right? Yes, sir, man. Sometimes... And to this day, people are like, he's not born here and all that. Sometimes uh, misinformation is more important than actually information. Uh, uh, misinformation so is far, what goes on in the world today. So far, I'm impressed. You nailed everything. But this is the, f this is the real test. Michelle Obama is a man. Yes. Man, listen. It, Say it, it, yes no, or no. Hold on, hold on, I need a hold on, yes or no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is where we find I, out I, if he's a cop. Hold on, hold on. I had Bar Barack Obama's brother right here about three weeks oh, ago. Right, that okay. is you. I retweeted I, okay, that. So I had Barack Obama's brother right here. He said I, Bar Barack so, Obama's so, broke. Bro brother. So so here's what he said. Okay, I saw pictures of Michelle Obama in 1992. When she was the best, uh, you know, Brock was the best man. When she was his Michael? Wedding. When she, I'm going to tell you in 1992, she not only looked like a woman, she looked like, a, like an attractive woman. Oh my, okay? you believe it's a okay, woman? Yeah, stop, stop, stop. I'm not done. In 2020, that is not the same person. Okay. Oh. I know what a female body looks like. It goes like this. Okay. Michelle Obama goes like this. Michelle Obama looks like she could fucking put in work with every single one of us. So here's the thing I'm telling you. I'm not even sure that's the same fucking person. I don't even think that's the same person. Because the the, the woman I saw in the 1992 photo, she did not only look like a woman, she looked like a somewhat attractive six. Mm. Okay? That's not a man, bro. Well, they say about I the kids, now, too. The, the kids aren't same. hers. The kids ain't hers. If you look at the doctors, they, the Obamas had their babies in private doctor's offices. They look like the doctors, not the Obamas. Sasha, they don't look anything like them. Absolutely nothing. And, and you, know, you know, now it makes sense why they would have been pushing this thing over and over because they planned and running Michelle Obama to be the 2024 Democratic nominee all the way to the fucking White House. Which yeah, will be, some people which will see be, that happening. Which will be AKA Barack Obama's fourth term. <laughs> but why do you think they're obsessed with trans shit? Like my idea has been that like they're post shift. So, they're so, post shift. So if you get wait, wait, if, wait, no hold on if you get all the men and all the women to basically switch, hmm. you can uh, basically shift the polls. So I feel like it's it, it's encouraged and programmed. But at the same time, they're prying off how depressed people are and like spiritually like deprived there. So like all these people have no sense of identity. So they're thinking, maybe if I change my sexuality, maybe if I change my gender, people will accept me. It's like, you gotta be crazy as fuck to cut off your dick. 
But no, that's that's be crazy they're, as fuck, dude. They're, they're being programmed. Yeah, what kind of mental illness is this? Depression. I'm not. No, no, dude. I am not accepting any bullshit, <laughs> any <laughs> fucking thing. You cut He's off. He's trying your to give you a serious conversation. Yeah. You're yeah. mentally wait, wait, ill. Wait, no, wait, but, but the but Jay, I feel so bad for Chase. He's like trying to go intellectual. He's like, you gotta be crazy to cut your dick off. But no, but like, it's no, you lost. He destroyed. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop. The He's sub, young man. The subconscious mind can't tell the difference between real or fake for you or another. So if all these people are seeing the gay and stuff on TV. It's just programming their subconscious mind to register that as reality and that, that that's a possible reality. So perception is reality. Yeah, but I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. They're okay. programming it. It's not that, like, these people are being programmed into mental illness. And, and, and if they are, that means they're weak. They're weak-willed people. I know, I'm saying, they're that's soft. What, they're soft the in the brain. Feed. They don't breastfeed babies anymore. You don't breastfeed babies anymore, their IQ drops. That's where all these dumb fucks come from. It's very simple, man. It's basic. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that, that, that's why you need a man to make enough money to keep the woman in the house so she can fucking breastfeed the fucking kids. Not so she can be on fucking vacation watching Oprah breastfeed the fucking kids. Mm -hmm. My kids were breastfed because I cared enough to make enough money to make sure my woman could stay at home and breastfeed the kids. You want to fucking beat the Illuminati? You want to do stuff like that? Make smarter kids. By doing that, they got to be breastfed. So basically, you can't save them hoes. And then people have also said there's a bond too that they're missing yes, out on. Yes, so, yeah. yes. Um, do you have kids? No. Okay, you don't have kids. I don't know if I do. Okay, so <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. there's some <laughs> Colombian bitch out there. <laughs> um, but this is my opinion on this. You don't know what true love is till you have kids, because that's when you have an unconditional love for the first time. No matter like uh, what's you know some woman is. There's always preconditions for a woman. She has to look a certain way. She has to be a certain mindset. She has to be funny. She has to be smart, depending on who you are. With a baby, there is no, it's unconditional. It's yours. It's mm. your blood. When you actually feel that for the first time, I'm going to tell you guys right now. My kid gets up about 8.30, comes, gives me a kiss and hug, says I love you, and is downhill for the rest of the day after that, bro. No matter what I do, how much money I make, it's all downhill after that. Mm. I've never heard a dad say anything uh, contrary to that. Every dad yeah, that's course. around, right, they always say, this is not like your wife. You love this thing, like, way different. Yeah, well, I, I will tell you. I will sit here with my wife right now, and we'll both tell you we love the kids way more than we love each other. And, mm. you know, we have an extremely strong marriage after 20 years. We're just honest with each other. But you're raising a kid in the B system. Aren't you like paranoid? You're like, they're going to uh, grow no, up with a no, transgender no, no, teacher no, no, cutting no. their dicks uh, off. First of all, when my kid goes to school, I was the parent going up to him and saying, if there's any fucking coercion to getting my kid, I'm going to come up here with my Second Amendment rights. So I made it clear no one's going to fuck with my kid. I don't do that fucking gay uh, pride shit. Uh, listen, dude, there's places to go to, you know, to run from that. I, I basically don't have a TV in my You're house. You're not bro. Blackfield? Like, there's nowhere you, your kids can run? We couldn't run from it in high school. They taught us about it, all this shit. Yeah. And what about yeah. frequency? Like, I don't think a lot of people started to get into, like, it depends what your control. number is, you know? But I'm talking about, like, frequency off coming off 5G towers. Like, you know how certain frequencies can adjust your brainwave from, like, alpha to beta? Some, or beta some, 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 some people can handle it, some people can't. But, it's like, most of these people are stuck with it. Like, they can't. Well, they're, atheists can't handle it. Can we talk about what we talked about last night? We we're talking about lack of sympathy and how that needs to come back into society. Lack of sympathy? Yeah. Like we Who need, do you have sympathy for? No, I'm saying we need to have a lack of sympathy because mm. it allows degeneracy and people's delusions yes. to prosper. Like we're letting all the mentally ill people think it's okay to think Ho like that. Ho should be shamed. Like do we need to be shamed to come back? Of course, I 100% I agree. There's a reason in uh, Sharia law they make women wear burqas mm -hmm. because men are weak to the flesh. A majority of men are. So if you have all these hoes running around half naked, what's going to happen? Broken homes as a result. Kids are going to be fucking raised mm -hmm. in poverty. The biggest single contributor to fucking poverty is single fucking women. So again, if these fucking hoes need to fucking keep their legs closed. And they think we're doing it to power trip, but cover, for thousands of years, we controlled or, you know, women's sexual liberation. Bro, this society has the most rape you'll ever see the most sexual harassment and, and the they don't even call it rape they go well he touched me at a party and stuff if it was a strict society you'd reduce that by like the rapist stuff 85 percent of them were raised by single mothers there it is. so there so, it is. so, it's the, so it's the fucking bitches and hoes themselves who are creating the fucking rapist <laughs> think about it it's a fucking cycle but see they're low iq they're not going to get this they're going to say oh this is misogyny no keep your legs 
closed. Do you know what will save more lives than gun control? Chastity belt control. Yes. Chastity belt control. They think this is being like hyperbolistic for clickbait. We mean it. <laughs> I'm we not mean kidding. it. I mean, I'm not kidding at all. I'm not society. kidding at all. I mean, if we just look at society, it's like everyone's depressed because it's just we're overstimulated sexually. The, whore, the wars start over whores. Wars start over women. Hell in a Troy. Hell in a Troy. Uh, that now she's bitch. hot. She was hot, right? Well, I that's get what it. We heard. But Paris was a little bitch. He should have just fucking. You know, honestly, I don't think there's. Menelaus should have fucked him up. I don't think there was a hotter woman ever alive than Cleopatra. Well, how do you know that? Because she got the main alpha of all time, Julius Caesar, and yeah. after that, and after that, all she right. got his right hand man, Mark Anthony. Oh. So, so again, could you imagine pulling some of the biggest alphas in history? And she yeah. was respected doing yes. it. It wasn't like yes. horror shit the way. No, she... no, no, no. So, so again, some women. You know, you know what actually got me into numerology? There was like a dead giveaway. Marilyn Monroe. No, no, fuck that bitch. That was a CIA. That, the CIA actually killed her. Because she was going down uh, having sex with Fidel, mm -hmm. and she was having sex with JFK, and she was actually telling Fidel Castro secrets. So the CIA actually had to fucking take the tradiest bitch out. This bitch, see, this, this is, bro, you're, Do you you're think brilliant. Some you're brilliant. Yo, I didn't, the first dude I never did research on, I was like, I trust Chase. <laughs> I thought you were going to ask me about pop culture on this podcast. Well, so, well, well why don't you tell us about the Backstreet Boys, dude? <laughs> what about the Backstreet Boys? Oh, I thought, are you going to link are, this? Are, are they uh, Andrew Tate fans? <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. I mean, hey, all gay people. Are. Yo, but check this out. I really thought I was coming here for like pop culture and stuff, but you know your shit, bro. Because yeah, yeah. when I first walked in here, and I want you to go in depth, you said you're supposed to fuck your bitch on certain times of her period cycle. Of a month comes from the word like moon. It's a moon cycle. He's right? smart. He's smart. But explain to them what you mean. So basically, women have 28 day cycles where they cleanse their thing. The moon also goes around every 28 day cycle. Wait, 28 so, so is wealth, do you? 28 is wealth, but it's yeah. also rebirth when it comes to you know, like basically soul reincarnation. So what you basically have is a woman, if she has more sex with more than two, with more than one guy in that 28 day cycle, she's basically risking mental illness because mm. you cannot have sex with more than one guy in that 28 day cycle. That's why they call it mental illness. Men, you get it from sleeping with too much oh, men. Wow. That's why these bitches Menstrual. are fucking. Yes, that's oh, why they're man. bipolar. When they fucking sleep with too many guys, mm. they become everyone watching this. That's why when they fuck a dude, up. they fuck a dude, and yes. then when they're leaving the apartment, they have that blank stare. Like, what did I just do, bro? Zerga, you were talking about the psychic yep. transfer with the gay dudes. Like, think all these women become masculine with high body counts because it's they're getting that psychic transfer from men. And, and then that's they, electricity. They them. become too masculine to where they, they're no longer attracted to men because no man can turn them on because they're more masculine than majority But, of but men. that's men's fault too because yeah. these bitches are fucking betas. They don't go around earn enough money. Women have to go to work. When they go to work, they deal with male issues and they become more masculine. Mm. So if you want a fucking bitch who'd be, to be feminine, make sure you own, make enough money for her to stay at the house. At least that's what I did. And it worked for me. I, I don't know anything about uh, any woman cheating on me. I feel like it's polarity. <laughs> bag too big. I feel like it's... <laughs> you know, if, if you're high value enough, she will stay at home. If you give her, like, enough... Uh, just have... Not her whole friends, but I, if she has a good life, she will stay home. Of course. They don't want to be at the club. No. And, and here's a very, very important thing. Make sure your girl... Your wife never deals with any hoes. If any women in her group are fucking hoes, cut them off right away. It's basically like a cancer yes. that spreads because what's gonna go on is she's gonna have, you know, go out, get drunk with this girl, and she's going, oh my God, this guy did me. Oh my God, this guy. And they're gonna put fake fantasies in these fucking women's heads. Mm -hmm. And women are very easily manipulated emotionally. This, this very part, easily This part is more important yeah. than cheating your bitch, you know, teaching your bitch to be loyal is not not as important as cutting out the whore friends. 100%. The whore, cutting out the whore friends is the number one. Not, this is not like month four. This is literally day one when you start dating her. 100%. And then you're not asking for too much. Trust me on that. Her, her single unhappy friends don't want her to be happy, so they start. No, misery yes, loves do. company, and these fucking hoes. They hate it when yeah, no. someone has a committed relationship, so they gotta fucking bring it down. Remember, you know what the biggest difference between men and women is. A brain. Oh. <laughs> Touche. Uh, but I'm at home here. This is like Thanksgiving. Where am I? Numerology has actually taught me that women born in the 7th, 16th, 25th actually have high IQ levels. That's one of the things about numerology. It's told me what actually are absolutes and what actually isn't. 
But, you know, what is the main difference between men and women? Besides the obvious I shit. thought that was rhetorical. Do you Besides want me to the, no, I mean, the, main, okay. the one answer. Uh, I'll, I'll, can I give, I'm the, I do the Freemasons stuff, ahead, do so it. can I give that? Do it. The male principle is active, the female is passive. You. I agree, same thing, male gives, female receives. Okay. The biggest difference between males and females is if I hate you as a man, I can still respect you as a man. I can still respect your accomplishments as a man. If I even if I hate you personally, yeah, I'm if a woman, Caesar. I'm thinking if Caesar. a woman hates you, she hates the way you talk. She hates the way you look. She hates the way you dress. She hates everything about you. That is the one of the main differences between men and women. A man can hate someone and still respect them. A woman cannot. I feel like here, bro. I feel like the women who have loved me the most have also hated me the most. Like it's the, the man who is super, How old are you? super polar. How like, old are you? 25, but 25, still. 25, I already had a couple, huh? Female nature still, <laughs> it's like still the same within all of them. You know, it's software. It's like they're all running on the same programming code. Kind of feel bad for them, though, because, you know, we watch TV and 80% of the market, since women hold the credit cards, is actually evangelic commercials. If they target the women. So if we're chilling here with our women, That's what I the TV is not affecting us that much. I mean, it's still fucking us up. We're, we're having thought loops and dreams about those commercials and everything they put and CNN and all the uh, fear propaganda and fear mongering. But the women are being brainwashed so hard. They could watch two episodes of Kim Kardashian <laughs> and change their whole life. Say, I'm not going to marry him. I'm going to go live in Miami like that whore and fresh and fit. Dude, from <laughs> a couple episodes of they're so easily influenced. No wonder we got to lock them up. Why do you think they target them? Mm. That's why they target them. Why do you think they gave them the right to vote? I always tell people the 19th Amendment was worse than 19. It did a fucking a hell of a lot more Let's damage. Let's go. You know, Let's you got, go. You have to understand. 70% of women are communist and socialist in their thinking. That's why they voted for Biden. So I want you guys to understand something. To the good conservative women who are out there, including my wife, guess what? You're outnumbered. Take one for the fucking team. We need the vote thing to fucking go. We can never change this country because it's going to rot from within mm. until it does. I mean, think about this. The last election, what swung it to make sure the Democrats could keep the Senate? Abortion. Women. Oh, yeah. Single mothers. Women went to the fucking polls. Their number one issue was abortion. These hoes don't want to keep their legs closed. And they will fight for their fucking right to be fucking whores. Yeah. So people, unless that changes, nothing ever changes. I'm, I'm sorry if it hurts people's feelings, man. See, I it's feel the like truth. People think we're the woman haters, but we're trying to show them that the men at the top are brainwashing and using them just to push. You know, I, 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 was, I always wanted women to vote until I read why for thousands of years they yeah. didn't, and yeah. then I'm like, oh, they can be that destructive. Yes, and what really they're supercharging the men they're like a catalyst supercharging destructive men mm. right because those destructive men are like i'm gonna get these bitches it, to it, vote it, blue it, it's the beta <laughs> males who are raised without any masculine energy around beta but, males are on team feminine yeah they're in the yeah so it's of like, course so like, they're women instance, i sometimes take trips for about two weeks three weeks i'm gone for my kids i come back the kids are misbehaving Hmm. Because there is no male presence in the house for about two weeks. They start talking back to the mother. Now, imagine there's no one around forever. They're not going to listen to the woman. I, I remember one story. My um, baby was out picking berries. She does crazy shit like that, right? So I'm over there and sitting on the bench just like waiting for berries. Her. Berries, yeah. She likes picking. She's she's from Russia. She likes picking a whole bunch of berries. Who are you talking about? My That's wife. My oh, wife. okay. Right. So so again, you know, we're sounds like the 1950s. Picking, no, no, this is brother. beautiful. <laughs> this is, I, I imagine it in black and white and shit. This is awesome. <laughs> well, we have uh, oh, um, oh, different colors here, but anyways, I over see this little boy just disrespecting his grandmother for about 15 minutes, and then I got enough. I looked at this little kid. I'm like. You better listen to your grandmother now. You fucking ran over there and listened right away. Was a they stranger? Need, yeah, just a stranger. Oh, okay. I was just sick of the disrespect. Actually, the know? neighborhoods used to be like that. Yeah. Like, just because he's a stranger doesn't mean he disrespects. No, elderly, no, no. You, know? you can't disrespect people. I teach my kids, you only have to listen to two women in your life. Your mother and your wife to a point. That's it. You don't have to listen to any of fucking other bitch in your life, man. Just those two. Mm -hmm. You only, only listen to your wife when you're fingering her. 
<laughs> I feel like the video, like it's something else, brother. Really. If you were if you were our age, you would understand. We have no shot in hell to live your life. You have to see the modern reason. bars. Yo, find yourself a foreign woman. Find yourself a Muslim woman. I like this. Come on, man. I like this. Come I on, like keep this. it real. Keep we're it going real. to Colombia. You, you, you know, you you're know, paying. We're you, going to Colombia. You, you, know, you know that Lenny Kravitz song, "American Woman, Stay the Fuck Away from Me." That's why I've been singing it for fucking twenty years, and it worked. Mm. I don't have a bitch who's taking my bag. She's watching my kids while I go out there and make a fucking bigger bag. I don't give a fuck who you are. You want to be a man? You have to have a good woman around you because if you're worried your bitch is sucking someone else's dick, if you're worried your bitch is fucking someone oh. else, you can't be the the best version of yourself you need a loyal woman you that's the you best argument to. i ever heard for you marriage actually, that's a fucking, need it. but no, no no there's red pill guys saying never live with her have you seen that okay dude and they say get a vasectomy and don't live with a woman you'll make millions uh, rollo. <laughs> yeah i was just on this podcast last yeah. month man i like rollo <laughs> but like what did you think of that uh I think, it wasn't advice He's i just, think i think uh rollo is a good showman and i think sartain is the Dumbest smart guy I ever met in my life, <laughs> Mr. Red Pill himself, man. That the uh, big arm guy. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Uh, his, do you see how his girl checked him on the whatever podcast? Yeah, that was. He man, brought his girl yeah, on the podcast. And she checked him in his own podcast, and then he's out. Wait, here. he has a girlfriend. Yeah, he, she checked him in his own podcast, making him look hella bad. And then, um, well, pull up the clip, bro. I gotta see this. Yeah, yeah, shit. What are you talking David, about? Pull Red Pill up. guy being checked. Yeah, yeah. Did he fucking check girl. her back? No, he said. He said, listen to this. He looked at her and said, babe, <laughs> I swear to God, read his lips. Find that thing. This is, this is, uh. You're as rude as me. You just I, fucking, I try, you attack brother. everyone. I how did you message me? You're like, you fucking bitch. You attacked me on something. I, I That's how we started talking. I don't think I called you a Something exactly rude, though. Yeah, That's why I responded right you away. You gotta poke the bear right away, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I hate those messages that are like, how are you? And I don't respond no, to those. No, 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 dude. We're not like, gonna this do guy that. wants war. Who do you want, bro? Hey, let, let me see your followers. I what you see mine. That's how the game works, right? I think this was the same podcast that Justin Waller kind of got. Yeah, well, that's that the redhead. The, the Yo, did you see the, the whatever? Yeah, six one seven. Now that woman got a dunk on that guy hard. I know. You pull up that clip as well. The what's his name? Walter Waller. Waller. Yeah, you know this, that was humiliating. No, no, what something. she did to him was humiliating. Let me ask you something. So this is Andrew Tate's right hand guy. Okay, this guy. Oh, Waller. really? Yeah, he's his right hand guy. So let me ask you something. If you are a multi millionaire and you talk about hoes twenty four seven, why are you living? with another man who's not your brother or who's not in your family. He's living with a male porn star. Why would a man worth millions of dollars live with a male porn star and talk about hoes all day? Who's yeah. the male porn star? Uh, Is what's his name? Straight? Yeah, yeah. Stir, Stir, what's his name? Sterling Cooper. Sterling Cooper, that guy. So well, he's like, straight. The yeah, redhead is straight. I, I, I guess. Oh, I mean, I, I think he's kind of suspect, bro. Bro, I swear there's a porn addiction, and it's just warping men's minds to where they're no longer no, stimulated old, by women, and they're just be pushing it. Yeah, porn should be disgusting. illegal. And uh, old, Elon Musk, please ban porn off fucking Twitter. It'll never happen. You but should. I, my whole feed is clean. Like, I, I block everyone. Even if I follow a friend who has OnlyFans, I, if your feed on Instagram and stuff, if the first thing you're seeing is soft core and it's bridging you to Pornhub, you will never make a dime in your life. You'll be a fucking loser. Porn makes people losers. Okay. And what I was going to say for the Waller guy, right? I hate attacking or I would consider us red pill, right? I hate attacking no, the red. I'm definitely not red pill. Well, you know, like, you, 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 you're not blue. Here, right? you you're not chilling with you see, destiny. You see orange over here, right? All right, but you know what I'm saying is, like. No, my woman is not fucking well, the red, I'm definitely not destiny. Yeah, yeah, red pill community would cheer for you and your opinions. Now, check this out. I hate attacking our own, but I swear there's a lot of gay dudes that are secretly red. Yeah. Like they're, they're what are the, what's that called? Undercover gay. Uh, there's a lot of gay dudes online. It's not just blue and red. And you can tell it's a temperament. They don't talk yeah. like this. They talk very different. With I'm not list. attacking with, this Waller with guy. The, with a list? With a list? <laughs> I'm not attacking yeah, yeah, Waller. Watch, 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 watch. But this, this, this bitch should have been, uh, this fucking woman just, she, she, was, she murdered him. This she, isn't America. she made me follow her. Uh, no, no, what? Play this anyway. Play this this anyway. is a great This clip. is funny. Play yeah. this anyway, David. Play this anyway. Yeah, I, I made this clip myself. I think you'll enjoy this. <laughs> no, so this is proud. traumatizing. Yeah, I can't watch this. I've seen it twice. Did you edit this yourself? Oh, dude, she. This doesn't need editing. She's just violent. No, no, this is a different clip. She Watch. violently out IQs him. Suck my dick. I despise Americans, Luke. 
block all Americans. I'm very patriotic. I believe in America. Who the fuck wants to live in America? Get the fuck out of America's a motherfucking goat. Anybody that's got a problem with that can suck my dick. Uh, I despise Americans, Luke. Block all Americans. <laughs> Take your best friends. Who the fuck wants to live in America? Get the fuck out of America. Anybody that's got a problem with that can suck my dick. <laughs> 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 I didn't see this clip. You know which clip I was talking about? Yeah, the, the woman, the woman who just uh, straight up dogged him. Mm -hmm. But listen, um, you know, I kind of feel bad for uh, Andrew Tate. He fucking gets locked up, can't do comments, and all his fucking soldiers can't actually do anything. It's kind of pathetic. It, it, and think about it, you have 50,000 people posting videos for you a day, and you can't actually do it. They tell him to go blog all this. 50,000 people. He was, he was paying people 150,000 a month okay, to get billions okay. of views. I'm over here paying people less than 10,000. I'm doing it for 400. free, and I'm trending. Let's there go. There you go, see? 150,000 a month? Yeah, dude, that's how much he pays for his whole operation. It's like engineers. Yeah, of course, dude. It's this whole fucking train. Yikes. Talk about something else. Get it, get close to the microphone. Okay, I, okay. I can see that you're that was away. a bunch of words, solid. I think you're really intelligent, by the way. But can, can we talk about something else, bro? We've been on this for Watch. Like I, I think we heard a th every third she word said, you said. Can we yeah. talk about something yeah. else? Because we've been on this for 20 minutes straight. Did you hear that one, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we're gonna, <laughs> That's go, uh, dude. we're gonna shout out everyone on Twitch. Eric, can you pull up the Twitch? <laughs> have you ever seen someone get disrespected like that by his girl? What the f play that again? Play that again. That's traumatizing. <laughs> Look, this is amazing. Get it get close to the microphone. Okay, okay. That was a bunch of words, solid. I think you're really intelligent, but can we talk about something else, bro? We've been on this for like 20 minutes. I think we heard a th every third said, word you said. Can we yeah. talk about something else? Because we've been on this for 20 minutes straight. Did you hear that one, Michael? <laughs> Those okay, eyes we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna shout out everyone on Twitch. Right? Oh, Follow Twitch. <laughs> He's defeated. Jeremy, he leaned back. Second. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. This is a guy. Why can't he just turn around and say, this, "Shut the fuck up, this bitch"? He can't do that. This, this is a guy he's who a, sells courses on how to get women. No, no, he's that's a plant. He's a plant. He's not Red Pill. He didn't turn around and say, yo, bro, girls I date for two weeks, if they ever embarrass me, I say, get your shit, get the fuck out of the restaurant, you're not I, staying with my friend. I, I've never had a woman she embarrass me like that. She literally leaned back and gave up. I never uh, had a woman embarrass me like that in my life, except for maybe my mother. <laughs> you know, my moms can get away with it. Right? You talk back to your mom, you're a disgusting Ooh. piece of shit. They know how to roast you. Yeah, but damn, so. That's Rolo's boy, by the way. <laughs> You're doing hit pieces. I'm like I'm actually traumatized. I, I like Rolo. I like Rolo. I like Rolo. You want to repeat this? I like Rolo. No, I think great. Sartain is pretty smart in a dumb way, but he just got disrespected by his girl, man. You're never gonna find a clip like that of me, him, or him ever. You might find the clip, but you'll never see us react like that. Would you ever? Re no. He literally just did this. Hey, you're doing a thousand percent damage on me. What's that bitch's problem, too? That's his girlfriend, man. She's mad. He's She's more masculine than he is. I feel like all these girls, they know that the masculine men are pretty much extinct, so they're all pissed off that they... Like, you know how we pretty much know we're not getting a good girl in America? They know they're not getting a high-value man inside the U.S. I feel like women can't be happy unless they get a top 1% man. Cause it's no, like, no, 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 dude. They're not even happy then, bro. It's never... Yeah, see, yeah. women are like kids. It's never enough for them. So mm -hmm. you have to, as a man, learn to say this simple word. <clears throat> no. And you have to keep... Like, for instance, one time a day, no matter what your woman tells you, even if it's some mundane shit that doesn't matter, learn to say no. Because if she thinks subconsciously she can step over you, she won't think you can defend her anymore. If you can't stand up to her, you won't Let's be able go. to stand up to other people. <laughs> so it's, it's all psychology, but if you turn the numerology and astrology with it, Bro, this shit gets so easy. If you, if you have if, numerologists and astrologers setting wedding dates, there's not going to be issues. If you take out the swear words when I'm swearing, that's exactly what I say. That's like <laughs> that's my content. If you take out the fucking crazy yelling and shit. But hold on. For, last point before I forget. Arthur Schopenhauer and every great philosopher said, I've come to the conclusion that women can never grow out of a ch child's mindset. Every genius in history said that. So you said they're like children. That's a that's not a simile, bro. That's a metaphor. They are fucking children. I, I, I think in certain situations, I think when they don't get their way, they're like kids. 
I think they can grow up. I think they can. Do have they invest? Some, no, no, you know no. a woman who invests? Yes, yes, I do. Hillary Clinton. No, 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 you're no, no, no. I, I know. <laughs> shut up. You're 33. I, 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 I know plenty of women who actually made money, but they have certain numbers, like 28, or a certain energy that makes them okay. Like it's they have masculine energy with them. Well, give me That's a percentage why. of women that you think are as intelligent as men for this kind of stuff. They invest. They do everything for long term. Less than 10 percent. You're generous. You're less 10 percent is huge. I said less. No, but 10%. no, that's giving me hope. I thought it was less than zero. No, no wow, no, 10%. No. So I should start Listen. looking for these smart but, ones. But, but see, then you have to understand that most women who are highly intelligent will not be faithful. So you have to understand, do you actually want to deal with that? Um, no, no, explain it, why, though. Um, women who are highly intelligent, they don't really need to rely on the man. They can do their own thing. They become so, the man. So they basically become yeah. the men themselves in a way. Now, there are women who are highly intelligent, still very feminine. That's that's few and far in between. But the real question is, if you get all the checks right, every single check, is the bitch. That's what it comes down to. Is she? Because if she's, do you play football? You know how to play football? She's like, a, if you're, you're like a running back who doesn't block. You could be the best <laughs> fucking running back in the fucking world. Motherfucker, if you don't block, I don't need you. But you're saying her whole political ideology and the way she lives, you're going to get that from if you find out if she's. In a sense, yeah. If she's, okay. If she's that means. He's pretty much saying if she's a Democrat, run. Right? Oh, yeah, dude. Fuck but are there Democrat. such thing as conservative women? I hate yeah, when we pretend. Yeah, they're, 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 they're about one one of every Maybe in three. Muslim nations, not here. No, here, I'd say one of every Name three. Name one. YouTube are those kind of like political operatives? That's a uh, of course Candace Owens. Candace Owens. Okay, uh, there comes Candace Owens born in the twenty. She was never a hoe. No, was I doubt it. Um, Candace Owens, but it, it, there is also one uh, Tommy Lauren, another one. That's uh, a hoe. Yeah, you know, there, there's, uh, that's what I'm saying. It's few and far between. I fuck that. But, but what you have to I'm kidding. <laughs> don't don't like that. But what you have to understand is about women like that. Um, it, it's it's few and far in between. Yeah. It's very few and far in between. So again. I feel bad for young guys like you. I got mine. I got my bag. I got my broad. I got all that. I, 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 you got to fucking start looking out for women. If you're going to have a women, I don't think you're going to have healthy kids. If you're going to have kids at all. I mean, there's nothing better. To, I completely disagree. There's nothing better than me dating a woman, right? Why? Because one day she's going to have that blood clot. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Right? No, you don't want your I, wife to die, okay? Right? I gotta ask you, have you noticed... <laughs> Let's change the subject there, Girls, <laughs> oh, hey, he saved you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rap That's my boy right here, let's hey, hey, go. Have you noticed girls are age range, majority of them are more masculine than most men, and they're all bisexual? This is disgusting, yeah. Yeah. What do you mean bisexual for so they can collab with other girls or actually fiending for they'll just feel, uh, you know, they're, they're not bisexual. They'll stick an electronic up their pussy and love it. Then they'll still get a woman. Then they'll get a man. They'll get a, a midget. They'll get trans person. They'll fuck anything. This is like what's that called when they, they'll fuck anything. Is that pan? But this is fucking so crazy, shit. bro. I've had girls tell me that they're addicted to porn and like it has ruined their ability to like have regular sex. Like you're meeting need... trash, bro. I thought I met trash. And some woman told you she's addicted it, 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 to porn. If a woman shit, sleeps with more than six guys, she'll never be faithful to you, man. She's always gonna be looking for dick on the side. I say more than one. It's like they carry with. However Wait, six? Guys so are you doing with. the numbers thing yeah, right now? Six. Why yeah. six? Uh, it's basically subconscious when you reach a certain level for most w women in six. For some women, it could be three. For you know what that blows my eight. mind? But six is usually the one that you can't come back no, from. In, in, You're Mas a in Masonic literature, six would be earth, air, fire, water, as above, so below. So you're saying what literally the whole the, world. What about the Jewish star? How many points? Hmm. How many people died in the they say? Six million. We're not doing this, bro. No, no, We're not no, doing no, no. this. I, I, I keep getting JQ'd everywhere I, I, just, I go. I Let me you. breathe, bro. Stop, stop. What I'm saying is I'm not saying that didn't happen. I'm going with the mainstream. I'm just trying to point out that the Jewish star has six points, and they said six million people died. That's it. Nothing else. We're good.
Dude, your content Salam. is so good. Salam, brother. But oh my god, at least do codes if you're gonna. You want, you want to do codes? Okay, let's do codes. Let's do yeah, Zionism. Let's... Zionism. Oh, that's not code. Zionism. You just said the word, bro. <laughs> Zionism. Zionism. Let's look at Nazi. It basically Go Nazi. Fuck it. it. Goes, it National Socialism was Hitler's party, right? Yeah. They're called the National Socialist. So what's the first two letters of National Socialism? N A, and then you take the Z I because the National Socialist made a pact. With the Zionist. Oh you shit! Have you, you've been watching my content now. now. You have Nazi. I've known that for twenty years, brother. It no, was no, because I called the uh, uh, transfer agreement that basically says everything that happened when a pact between the Nazis and the. Um, I, I said this on a podcast. I'm like, look, I don't know if it's right, but I was just reading stuff. I'm just reading stuff. I don't know if you know, I don't believe this, and everyone laughed at me. These intellectuals, mm -hmm. and I was shocked because all I said was, um, there, mean, there are scum, inter right? there's the intellectuals scum. out there who say. Uh, the Nazis and the Zionists had one common goal. These guys <laughs> wanted to expel a certain group of people into a foreign land, and they worked together. That's all I read. I didn't say that's what I believe, and everyone, everyone laughed at me. Ch like, Chase, let me ask you something. Does Israel exist without Hitler? Okay, we're not doing this one, bro. We're not doing this. <laughs> Was no. Hitler... <laughs> no, it's, it, it, it cause and What's effect. What's its birthday? Cause and effect. No. All it's right, all yeah. cause and effect. Listen... The, the, the fact of the matter is, if you understand history, you have to understand the victor's history, too. You Wait, so that, that means you believe... has lies. That mm -hmm. means you believe... Do you believe that whole, they hire a Gentile to crack the whip, to whip them back into their you the always holy have, land? You, you always have an overlord race. Overlord, but you believe the, the, that the Hitler... Over, the overlord race for the past 100 years have been the white man. Soon it's going to change to the Asian man. So you have the certain people on top with disease... And then you have their overlord ways that changes every two, three hundred years. You know, so, you know it's so, funny. They started in the chat by saying, he's a Jew, he's a Jew. You, you, I'm like, a Jew, huh? I yeah, would say I, this I, is, I, I this got to be the most base Jew I've ever heard. I, I, I am a Jew, but I'm not a Zionist. So yeah, this is there crazy. is a difference, guys. By no. the way, by the way, if uh, Kanye does a reading, uh, does a podcast, I'm going to probably be most likely to be the next one he does it with. Uh, Kanye, let's do it, brother. Let's make some noise. Now, hold on. How come you don't have that thing where you, like, in your collective subconscious, you want to defend your people? Why do you just speak your mind? What's there to defend? The I mean, there's a lot of the, yeah, okay. Jews I'll instinctively Jews, say Jews, that's a conspiracy. Jews are the smartest people in the world, and that's my straight-up opinion. Why, why, why does 2% of society control 55% of the money? Now, you guys can say they're crooks. You guys can say whatever. But again, if they are crooks, they're fucking intelligent ones. Mm. So at the end of the day, I think they're the most intelligent people out there. Now, I believe if it wasn't Zionists at the top of the food chain, I think someone else would be the fucking doing the crimes. I mean, think about it. From their standpoint, they're benevolent with the... They didn't start World War Three. They didn't fucking murder people with a nuclear bomb. They gave fucking people the sheep to kill themselves. So again, from their standpoint, think about them. They think they're fucking benevolent. This is the only channel that gets. I'm not saying everything right, but you, you get it. GG three three baby. And there, <laughs> now he's a Freemason again. GG three three. Stop. And stop. it's the G too. Of course, the seventh love it. letter. We're in your grand architect of generative principle. Weren't they the first sketch. one to start charging interest to on loans? And that's pretty um, much how... Well, right they say, the, wasn't it the Catholics? They, no, the, the Islam, uh, one of the tenets of Islam is you can't charge interest on the loan. Hmm. So, for instance, if you take out 100000 they charge 5%. It's, they can't keep charging 5% every year. What they do to get around this is they just charge a flat rate. So, they still charge you money, hmm. but it's a flat rate. Now, the, the, the Zionists are more interested in the... Um, interest because they like to keep people in debt so and, and that's what sharia law tries to avoid mm -hmm. keeping people in debt that's why it's like slavery never ended it just evolved into debt yeah this dumb bitch in chat we're gonna ban you saying oh they worship the talmud i already we Ooh, spoke about I worship? Oh, no that he's saying jews worship the talmud we spoke about or oral law <laughs> earlier <laughs> if you knew what the fuck you're talking about you'd be on the podcast not in chat like you're fucking your mom's a whore your mom's a little whore this guy acting, well, what is the Talmud? What is the Babylon? You, who the fuck? This isn't Alex Jones, bro. And actually, not only have you impressed me, but you contradicted yourself. Are you on board with me that if Albert Pike predicted all that, 
he does want to wipe out Muslims and Zionists. Or right. do you think Zionists want to be at the top? Because no, everyone no, splits no, no, here. No, 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 no. Um, I believe that he wants Zionists at the top. And oh, really? at, the, at, at the end of the day, I believe that. Why would he say, I want to wipe Zionists and Muslims? I want to make them fight I, I, each I, other. I, I, I Why think, would he say that? I think that? it's basically Zionism will morph into something else. Oh, like so, science, yeah, yeah, scientism. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, like that's basis. Like, fuck. It's like Let's a go. fucking phoenix being reborn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's the, exactly that's what, what I think, I think yeah. they're going to mean by science. Because if you take the Z and you just split it like this, you got an N. You understand? They like to play games like that. So oh, they, are you trying to say Nazi? Mm-hmm. Or N word? Nigga. Is but, that why the the symbol, the Nazi symbol, is? I, I, I'm not going to go there. Well, the Nazi symbol, <laughs> the swastika is earth, air, fire, and water, right? And if you look at the 12 one, the zodiac was the black sun one. Uh, those are lightning bolts of, and it's like a Luciferian thing, but for the black sun, you know what I'm talking about? But here's the thing. It's like 9-11 got you to numerology, which Correct. got you to here? Yes. I, I remember. Wait, wait, no, I gotta ask you. What do you think of people who say Andrew Tate knows a lot about this topic? Like the the no, what's this called well, conspiracy? Yeah, so so here's the thing. thing. I would a- say he knows a- Andrew, nothing, Andrew, and he's CIA. Andrew Tate took the word matrix from me because he didn't use the matrix until the word matrix until I actually did a reading with him. So he, he never used he never used the word the matrix in 2018, 2019, until I talked to him. No, but it, to me, it's embarrassing when people say Alex Jones and Andrew Tate are truthers. I would say- Come on, stop. I would say- Stop. Here, Nick Fuentes, Myron, those kind of guys. Alex Jones and Andrew Tate are like, I would, like they're kitty meals. Oh, Myron's, what if you, Myron's Andrew Tate's boy. They're both Oh, the right, same. they're friends. Right, right. Yeah. But no, Myron, JQ's, he's not afraid. Oh, well, Myron's an 11 in life path. He has a little charisma on him, so good for him. He's an 11? Is yeah, that good? He's an 11. He means I'm a 3? You're a 3. It means you got a mouthpiece and he's got some charisma He's the 3. Did you see his KKK thing? That was the most entertaining shit I've ever... That, he's that, the real that, 3. That, that, that was some crazy <laughs> shit, man. That was some crazy ass shit, man. I can't believe he fucking did that. Listen, I'm crazy, <laughs> but I won't go to certain places, man. What? I, I got my Jewish shield, though. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like he would have never done that until he met you, like... Just, Yo, everyone's blaming me, but I walked out of the frame. I was like, I can't be a part of this. You're a bad scene. influence, man. What are you doing? Uh, it's not like I did this. What the fuck? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I didn't do it. I didn't. You know someone's going to screenshot that shit. <laughs> There's going to be a troll Twitter account right there that says, you worship Adolf Hitler tomorrow. Well, let me give him some more. <laughs> Zika, my Fuhrer. You get the audio too, bitch. No, but seriously. It, Myron's just a competitive guy, so when he read co- comments saying, yo, Zerka's way edgier than you, he put on a KKK outfit and made monkey sounds. Mm-hmm. So he wanted I to I submit. You. I literally submit. I, 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 I said, I'm on preach. Myron's a racist. This is too far. <laughs> but for when the ruling class chops our tongue and stuff, like when the dot-com boom started, they let us do a lot of crazy shit, LimeWire, the early internet days. Now they censor, censor, censor. How many times were you uh, banned from different platforms? Oh, I lost count. <laughs> it was like, oh, well, tell me the platforms you've been banned from. Twitch, Instagram. Well, I've been banned at least you, you nine, nine basic, times, you, you nine, Instagram? eight times. You, you know, know, IG? No. you have a TikTok? No, I'm banned. You're banned from TikTok? Yeah, all, all you have is Twitter? Yeah. So and Twitter. YouTube. Okay, so Twitter banned me 18 fucking times, bro. Because I was telling people not to take that. I told them it was fucking poison before it even came out. Andrew Tate got me in one of them. So I've been banned over and over and over. I've finally been allowed to grow. And finally, now that all the bans are off, I'm getting like half a billion fucking views. <laughs> so it, 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 these people like to keep people down. So for people who say I'm a Freemason or all this That's other me, shit. I say it. All the other shit people Show say. Show the tattoo again. Yeah, yeah, Clip right, this guy. Right there, right there, brother. It's right there. I'm proud of this, brother. That, that means I'm a 33 life path. Uh, that, that's 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 the pinnacle when it comes down to vibrational energy. So when it comes down to, I didn't fucking think I know he's a all nice, this shit. He's a nice Templar. How do you, come on, yeah. come on, man. They wish they were me. <laughs> okay, um, but when they censor, why do they do it? They, uh, they censor because they, they don't want people to know certain things. Why would you want to educate the sheep? Well, they let us have a lot more in two thousand one. I think they let us have a lot more right after Musk bought Twitter. Because now you can say a whole bunch of shit that you could have been. A lot of people would have been banned for some of the shit they said before. Oh, you're one of these guys who think Musk is like a good guy. I never said that. Uh, uh, but the brain Ma- chip. Ma- He's trying to put a brain chip Ma- in Ma- you. Ma- Musk uh, took uh, half a billion dollars from Barack Obama in 2010. If you notice, the only person that Musk is positive over again and again and again is Barack Obama. So if you notice, Musk actually goes after Biden. 
all those Biden files, they're released, everything. It, 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 he is Barack Obama's boy. Do you feel like he bought Twitter to get all that data to fuel the Neuralink? Like, to give it, like, you know how AI needs to be trained with data? If he's just bought Twitter. To What's more important than money, brother? Information. Oh, exactly. And influence. Mm -hmm. Influence and information. And I feel Those like are the most important things in the fucking world. Fuck what the fucking... Twitter is worth fucking a trillion dollars mm -hmm. and i'm going to tell you why because you can influence elections with it you can influence people with it you influence people you influence people's minds that's more important than the money I'm fucking the rothschilds will tell you that. that that's why i feel like there was like preconditioning to where people accept putting the chip in their brain it's like okay if i put this in my body it'll you know make me more you know submissive. anyone here no your voice jesus the fuck i told you i'm cia you're bullshitting. You didn't get. No, me. I had to. I was gonna. I, I had to leave. Canada. Oh, okay. You I sound, had to leave Canada. You sound so. like a smart man. Why the fuck would you trust the government? Get. Oh, you think I trusted them? Why'd you get to them? leave Canada? Why didn't you pay someone and get a fake card? If I waited any long, I would have been locked up. I don't want to get locked. Up. I want to boom my career, and that's what I'm doing. Plus, you gotta remember, like I've got serious liver. I have serious organ problems from the drugs I used to do when I was a party guy. So this is nothing. Like if that's not what's gonna kill me. There, the other stuff is gonna kill me. My doctor said, "Don't worry about the blood clot." I, I, I would seriously look into some holistic medicine, guys, yeah. man. I was seriously it, concerned. It, it hey, your DNA. Let me tell you something, okay? That will kill anyone, but I'm fucking invincible. Before I die, we're gonna see a Catholic theocracy. Oh yeah, where's that oh, gonna be at? I, I, so I'm, I'm, Zer bringing, Zer I'm bringing this chat. I'm, can I take your chat? Yeah, I'm taking ahead. them. Go we're going to war against <laughs> Muslims, Jews, Buddhists, all of them, and black people. Black people too. I'm kidding. No, we need the strong black people on our. Hey, team. I tell you what, if America black people are very if, Christian. If, if America ever gets invaded, I'm not gonna be in the fucking uh, Beverly Hills. I'm going straight down to the hood where I know motherfuckers got AKs. I know motherfuckers will put up a fight. Fuck that. We'll put up fights with each other. <laughs> 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 fucking shooting each other in the fucking neighborhood. It's like they're not even here. Hey, the war is not what, man. Nothing will bring people together like fucking people invaded America. If that ever happens, believe me, everyone's gonna get on board real, real quick. Wait, so you have money. Why are you here? What do you Shouldn't mean? Shouldn't you be in a different country? Like the fuck? Look at look where I'm at, bro. I know I love it here, but you know most truthers say like. You gotta leave this place. You gotta go. Nah, man, I'm not living in America. This is the best country in the world. Even with all its faults right now, it's still the Amen. best country in the world. Hell yeah. Uh, no, I, I, no got, I got houses around the world, if that's what you're asking. But no, I'm still living in America. This is the no, best place. No, but these rich truthers always talk about going to like some foreign country and being free from the system. And it's well, kind of gay. Listen, listen, <laughs> it's kind of gay. It's listen, like you gave up, bitch. Listen, <laughs> listen if I want to retire right now, I would have retired already. I already fucking got my bag. I started. I, I am numerology. I own my field. There is no competition. Tate has actual competition. He has real competition in his field. Not big competition. There's no one competing with me. Who's the hypnotist he has on? The I, people don't tell that me fucking about. moron, man. I think, he's, he, I think he has a drug problem, too. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you, have you ever gone into self-hypnosis? Um, so hypnosis is I, like Jedi mind tricks. Only weeks on the weak-minded. And it's real. So it works, real, out, it works on women. Works out women a yeah, lot. Yeah, you say that until a billionaire. If Bill Gates walked in here with his hypnotist, we're fucked. No, he's not. No, they have no, a real. He's not. But no, something he's to be not. said about the subconscious mind, even when you're asleep. I've tried it. I've, I've tried. I've done black magic once, and it's a hypnotic trance-like state. You, you did like, black magic now. Explain. Do tell. Yeah, the circus yeah. going to talk about black magic now. <laughs> this is an interesting podcast. Yeah, no, I was. I'm. Basically, it's a psychic revelation state to where it's like you doze off, but you're awake like this. Mm -hmm. Are you and talking to anybody or are you just observing? Or are you fucking a bitch? No, no, I was alone and I was talking to myself. Well, it wasn't myself. Well, maybe you were talking to your higher self or maybe yourself in a different no, there's universe. No, there's those crisscrossing impulses in the psyche. Those are demons that, and that's what you can channel. And, and even if you haven't been instructed to paint, you can do a Mona Lisa in this fucking state and you can use drugs, psychedelics. You can use stuff to actually enter this a weaker form of the state. And I didn't think it would be that easy because the in masonry, they'll teach you about your most wakeful state, your solar state. And your are you a mason? No, you're asking me all this. Yeah. What are you smiling for, though? Because because of what they do to me online. But I was a Rosicrucian before I found Christ. Yo, chat. Is this guy a Freemason? You look at him. Look who's talking. He's got a 33 hey, fucking. Hey, hey, I like tattoos, brother. <laughs> yeah, but no, that 33 means a lot to you. Yes, That's not it does. just. But uh, no, it, it's interesting because, like, 
black magic is actually 100%. Why are these people real. saying 100% here? It. <laughs> it's not really black magic when it's just, you know, if you get into law of assumption, law of attraction. No, like, if, it, if you're doing it for passion, it's always yeah. black magic. Well, right? If you're doing it for yourself, because there's black, gray, and white. And, but that led me to Christ because, dude, that I really needed to understand is Christ some fucking. When did fully, Christ die? I mean, to history, time, I do the uh, timeline 30, is 30, 33. He oh, 33 years old. Yeah, I thought you wanted the know. timeline. He died yeah, yeah. at 33 years yeah. old. Do you know why? Because the number is more important than the man. That's why he's the most influential dead man in the world. Because they made sure to associate, associate him with that number. You think I don't know this? You I'm trying to embarrass I, I, me? I, I'm putting this out there, okay. man. Okay. Let me this. tell you what 33 really means. Yeah, 33 ahead, degrees. Man. That 33% of the fallen angels that fell from grace with Lucifer. That's a Luciferian. <laughs> You're going to hell, young man. <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me. Young man. Look at this. But no, listen to this. I think I was fucking First of all, you were you when you were a baby. But how old are you? <laughs> I'm 45, bro. Can't pinpoint this. You're 45? Yeah, been, what does 45 I, mean? Go. A degree, man. That's all it is, man. <laughs> Wait, you don't have a... 45 means nothing to you right now? No, this it means a, completion. What Four and five fuck? equals nine. Nine is the number of completion. Okay, what's two? Two is feminine energy. That's why bitch starts with B. B is the second letter, just like beta. Because in masonry, they <laughs> you like that. In masonry, they say two is the sex, the split. It, it's the feminine energy. It's okay. the it's the like for instance, um, women who are born in the first tend to be masculine. Men who are born in the second can be feminine. That's how numerology works. You got to know this stuff. Give me some threes that are celebrities. Like some me. threes who are Chris. Oh, Rock. it would be all of Chris. Them. Chris Rock. Uh, another three. Uh, fucking what's his name? Uh, Faggots too. I, brother, I, I all entertainers. I don't tell you know they're all holding their ankles for somebody, right? <laughs> Wait, what, what do you think of people who say at the top they're all uh, doing homosexual sodomy? I, I think the which people, is black I, magic. I, I, think the, I, think, I think the people at the very top don't do that. I think the people who are puppets do that because the elite okay. needs something on them. Mm -hmm. But you think elites the are straight? They're not perverted no, like that. No, like, they're not. straight, but they fuck children. The, ra the rabbis say well, that shit's for the goyim, so they never they don't do shit like that, bro. Mm, for their no, Noahide no. laws. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so again, they don't they don't shit where they live. Well, yeah. the rabbis like children. Well, not the rabbis. Is it at the three very to top. five. Not the rabbis at the very top of the food chain. The fucking pedos, the Christian church, and all that do as well, man. There's pedos at the very very bottom. Those rabbis are Jesuits. I know what you're talking. About. Like they're just in their primal nature, like their lower state. It's you know what we're gonna do, Zerka? I'm gonna get a Muslim preacher and mom here. I'm gonna get a. Well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get a, a, a Christian pastor here, and if we're me and you are gonna fucking talk to them <laughs> about religion and God. I think that would be make for an interesting I, podcast. I would, I would say most religious leaders are not effective today. They're useless. But right? when I, as I, a I, kid I, came from the pastor and said, "I'm going on a crusade," hmm. I do a better job than these fucking gay pastors. <laughs> it's sad. I think the best mode, uh, the best speaker out there today is either Barack Obama or Louis Farrakhan. No, oh, in all, how about in all time? I'll say Malcolm X destroys Barack Obama. I think JFK is probably better than Malcolm then X. Then Malcolm X? Yes. We choose to go to the moon, we, not because it's easy. John, JFK. John F. K. Well, they, they killed, killed X. They killed both of them. See, that, but that's when they stopped killing people. Malcolm X was the last government hit job. Because after they killed Malcolm, what happened was... The Black Panthers were formed as a uh, basically cause and effect. So the FBI had to deal with the Black Panthers for two decades. So what they do now, they've learned. They don't uh, fucking. Why do you say the last hit job? They say Kevin Samuels raising black consciousness. Kevin Samuels. They say took he the killed vaccine. him. He took the vaccine. Oh, that's what killed him. He took the bro. He took the. He was an older man. He was born in 1965. The fucking got him. They're gonna kill you right away if you're meant to live to fucking a hundred. No, 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 no. Kevin Samuels is the only effective black conservative raise, raising black whoa, whoa, It's not Ben Carson. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, not Ben Carson, but there's... So uh, they killed his they're, ass. There's Sowell, uh, Thomas Sowell, a very effective guy. Well, how, uh, about the, how about those BLM guys when BLM was popping? Yeah, obviously BLM is like a government thing. It's but run by they homosexuals. Died. Yes, yes. White homosexuals, right? But uh, check this out. Uh, the Four or five of them died in a car fire. At they, the, they knew too much. That? They knew too much. So they killed their own. They killed Joan Rivers too, bro. All this oh, is sports. Oh, let's go. Yeah, Joan, yeah, what, she said about something that. about Michelle. <laughs> and did you see on Bear Grylls? Uh, what's that show he has? Um, Bear Grylls. Bear Grylls is that guy in the wilderness. The guy who drinks his own piss. Uh, I don't follow people like that, my man. 
Hmm. No, you'd like this guy. He's CIA like you. A guy, a guy who drinks his own piss, huh? Well, he, he has this show where he goes into wild Just and survives. talk to CIA agents. doesn't make me a fucking CIA That's asset. literally what a CIA okay. is. They fucking go to Joe Rogan's door, knock on it, and they go, oh, Joe, you're not CIA. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. just need info. You, you know what they do? They ask me, Gary, here's a birthday. What do you know about it? And they leave me alone. How about that? And do, how often do they do it privately? Like, they're not work-related. I'm not going to I'm, I'm say anything about CIA. All I'll say is government agencies and people within the government agencies I do consult with from time to time. And you told me recently that you're feeling really suicidal? Shut the <laughs> fuck up, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're about, to go, out, you're about to go out that balcony over there. People, people don't understand, but most CIA... I don't know what happened. All I know, guys, is we're talking CIA, and boom! All of a sudden, uh, the podcast isn't there. We did background checks. It wasn't the internet. It wasn't kick. So we don't know what happened. But, but we, something happened. But we got emails from Hillary Clinton. It was, <laughs> it was her. I'm telling you, man. You know, she was once hot. Yeah. I'm not derailing. Really? She was, what what universe was this in? I agree with that. 21-year-old Hillary Clinton. Google her. She's actually... Bring it you, up. You would hit? You would hit. Mark, you got me bring fucked it up, up, man. Bring it up. I would never hit that swine. No, back nasty, then she was human. Nasty ass swine, man. The hot ones you are couldn't pay evil. me enough. The hot ones are always. But evil. you gotta. You, I, I appreciate her for her intelligence. She's yeah. one of those intelligence. She's women. freezing. By the way, remember I told you about sevens being intelligent. She's a seven. Obama's a seven. No, no. Hillary Clinton's a seven. But is Obama? No, he's an eleven. Is he's Trump, the Trump's a three. Like, uh, Trump's a four. Law and order. Oh right, because he's never drank alcohol and yes, he's pretty exactly, like straight edge. Exactly. Okay. Law and order. Wait, 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 wait. What's Kobe? Kobe is an 11, just like Michael Jordan. So check this out. Michael Jordan, born 217, 1963, adds up to 29. 2 and 9 is 11. Look, he's getting mind fucked. Say uh, that again? Get, what? <laughs> Michael Jordan, born 217, 1963, 217, 1963, adds up to 29. 2 and 9 is 11. Mentor Kobe Bryant, born 823, 1978. 823-1978 adds up to 38, 3811. He mentored Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving, born 223, 1992, adds up to 29, 29 is 11. So there you have the 11 to 11 to 11. How about them apples? I always see it, Kyrie it, flexing the 11. If that's Should my flat earth shoes. brother, Kyrie, but hold on. It's way creepier if you guys are here with me, and it's way creepier if you're here and you grab his phone and see the billionaires who contact you. We can't talk so, about that. Yeah, I know, I know. Not, did on, I man. name drop? No, you can't do that, man. We don't want to do that, man. Now I'm a snitch. I didn't even name drop. All right, Nick, who's the Fed, man? <laughs> Ten four. Ten four. So hold on. Nine eleven started you. What were you saying, Chase? Before I do nine eleven, were you going to say something? I don't even know. Right, nigga, let's go. Could you imagine your first podcast ever, Chase? And he's I'm odd, so jealous. And he's odd with me and you. We're fucking pros at this. And this guy, man, you talk about popping your cherry with dimes. Yeah. <laughs> You're fucking doing good, brother. Uh, Bro, I, I, my first podcast was uh, homosexual on Twitch, ran it with whores that are not even hot. That was my first podcast. That was my legacy. Shit, your third podcast probably could be Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, hey, listen. This man taught old. me how to manifest, too. So What's that? This man taught me how to manifest. Who? So. who this guy? That guy. I don't know. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. They're they saying talk about ago. Kabbalah. Kabbalah. Kabbalah starts with a K. K is the 11th letter. Just like KKK. KKK. Why did they do with that? Because K is an emotional number. That's why they did a 9-11. 11 is a very emotional number. When you look at Al-Qaeda, Al-Qaeda was founded August 11th, and they, their three biggest attacks, one was in India on July 11th, one was in Spain on March 11th, and the other one was in America on 9-11. So they keep hitting people at the same time. Why? Because the people at the very top, they understand how emotional energy works, and it's basically around the 11. So when you have stuff like this, people at the very top are like, okay, do things on this day to get an emotional reaction out of people. If it wasn't a rule by evil and it was good guys at the top, would they be using 11s for big celebrations and yes. positive things? Yes, correct. And then the whole world would be well, like, if you, if you look the they'd wipe out sin from the world? I'm not that? sure if you can wipe out sin as long well, as Well, not a 100%, but the world would be like paradise if it, they were hitting be, 11s? It would be more of a utopia, but I don't think the world could ever be paradise because sins create sinners. 
So I'm not, I'm not sure the world could ever be paradise because yin yang, I personally believe this is heaven and hell at the same time because some people are living the earth. It's heaven for them. Every day is heaven. Some people, it's hell. A lot more people, it's hell. Mm. So I believe um, based off karmic debt from past lifetimes through reincarnation. Ancestral? Something like that. Bloodline. Because um, that's the only way that karma should make sense is if it's ancestral. Yeah, it goes Because the there's bloodline. good guys right now winning on yachts. Or excuse me, bad guys on yachts winning. Do, right now. What, what do they do in their past lives, though? Like you see people. So their like, grandparents are saying you we're know, good? All I'm trying to say is if you see someone on the side of the street and they're fucking broke and they're fucking still living under a bridge, you might say, damn, I feel sorry for them. But what they do in their past life to deserve that shit? Would it be their ancestor or do you think it's like an archetype? I th I th they're I th all th one? I think I think the blood has an archetype within it. Into a whole, would you do it like into a whole race? All black the, men are one archetype? No, 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 no. Oh, I think okay. just the bloodline. The bloodline itself. That's why being gay is uh, such a such a issue because you genocide your own bloodline. So if you don't have any more kids, that's the end of the bloodline. That's the end of the fucking. That's genocide. Spiritual fucking genocide. No one ever thought of it. And that it's way. gay. Yeah, that too. <laughs> you have gay friends. Uh, See, that's a fed lesbians, question. Lesbians, lesbians, lesbians yeah, lesbians, what the lesbians, fuck? Lesbians are from no, listen, listen. <laughs> I, I don't hold, I don't hold women to the same standards as I, I hold men. Do you? Fuck no. Do you? No. So if you don't hold women to the same standards, why the fuck would I give a fuck if a woman's a lesbian? She don't spread STDs at the same rate as these gay guys. Most women who are lesbians, and tell me if you think I'm wrong. Number one, been probably abused by some man. Number two, probably have never been fucked right by anyone. Never had a fucking orgasm in their life. Or number three, they just have an emotional bond with another woman. Women have that shit. Just an emotional bond. It's haram, I get it, but at this end of the day... It's the one not, guy who can know, take my community from me, bro. You're fucking hilarious. <laughs> and he's not, there's no comedy. He's uh, telling uh, the uh, truth. Listen, when it comes down to it, you have people <laughs> who are basically males who spread fucking STDs at a 60 to 1 rate. And here's my... 60 to 1? Are we talking rate. HIV? Yeah, something like that. Syphilis, all that garbage. So And that's not put on mainstream media. No, they don't, they don't want anything to do with that. They, they, they want, this, is, this is clown fucking world, dude. Uh, holding your ankles is not something to be proud about, man. I, this is what I don't get, Zerka. There's so you don't many, like rappers? I don't give a fuck. There's so <laughs> They're many, all gay. There's so many beautiful women in this world with beautiful curves, and motherfuckers want to suck dick. <laughs> I, I don't get it, bro. I just well, don't get it. I feel in his past life, you were a spiritual leader. Right, you see, he sat. You think I am now? Yeah, yeah, exactly. He sat with all the kids in the clan. He's like, "Yo, don't do that gay shit." Where does gayness come from? Since you're you're not a Christian, you have a different point of view. No, I, I think most of it's propaganda, but a lot of it has to do with like the, media makes you gay. No, I think if you brainwash certain people, then you know through movies. Through the educational system, they'll begin to. Get You're not those to, people who say it's hormonal, like he's got no, no, estrogen. It, it, it's, it's well, yeah. There's like like this. This has no BPA in it. It has no estrogen, but that plastic shit does make huh? some people do that. Really? Like, How much would you have it, to it, drink it, to go gay? Give a me lot, a fucking a break. What I'm basically trying to tell you is. There, it's a combination of almost everything. It's that trauma. Be a, it's, a trauma. Uh, it's a trauma. It's everything. If you have uh, no father in a home, you're more likely to be gay. So many more single mothers are raising kids. So there's a connection there, too, with uh, basically not just genes, but also environment. Mm -hmm. Environment plays a role. As a numerology astrologer, I always tell people environment plays a role. So, yes, I think that shit is extremely environmental. I liked how you said earlier that to all the gay stuff is trying to reverse the polls like you were talking about live backward evil like just and that, flip flops aside that's from the Kabbalion too the polarity they yes. talk about yes. rhythm polarity and all that stuff but it shift the polls you're also saying it's like uh anti-life like it's too it's they don't want I, I to think, repopulate. I, I think it's population it, control like a depopulation the, 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 the georgia guidestone said before they were blew up they said 500 million people in perpetual balance with nature. Right now we're about at eight. Uh, I'm assuming they will take us down to four. They're gonna get. They're gonna curb people. They want to make sure there's less kids born. I don't even believe it's eight. Eight billion. If it, if they sounds, want sounds, sounds about right. If it, they want 500 million to live in harmony, in perpetual harmony with nature, there's no way they're taking down eight. There's probably like two billion. 
You think there's only 2 billion people on the planet? I mean, there's no way to prove it, but, you know, most in, in India, they have censuses and they have about like 1.3 billion in there. But it's an in Indian. China is one it's point. It's an Indian. You know, it's still, you know, it's, it, it's still the world the population. Time? They say the timeline in history, they added a thousand years. Have you seen that? Like Explain. They, the, they warp the timeline of history. So it's like when they say a thousand years ago, they actually mean maybe 2,000 years ago, maybe 10. Like the whole history timeline is warped. Like nothing happened when they say it happened. Do you believe that? No. I think Are there's you? certain things in history that have been basically recorded uh, through different sources. So it will be very difficult. Like, for instance, we know when World War One ended. It was basically May 2nd, 1945. No, but look, no, but look, you can't lie about stuff like no, that. No, no, no. If we look at millennia, that's a thousand, right? Okay. Yeah, we don't know anything that happened no, a thousand no, years no. ago. How, how does technology evolve? It's linear. And then throughout history, it's always like stone tools and blah, 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 and steel. And then boom, dot com and technology. Technology has never evolved like that in history. So they're saying that uh, these this tech stuff is much closer to the ancient world. And they say the ancient world had like harmonics and elect electricity, yeah. like not it's, just Tesla and, and stuff. Like most people age. ask, how did they move and make the pyramids? It was how, it was the acoustic stuff. I, I, right? I, I, yeah, I, I, was, I believe it was vibration based off magnetic energy. And, and that's so a declassified CIA so document. If you put like a magnet underneath something, no matter how heavy it is, you put another magnet underneath mm -hmm. it, it will lift it. Yeah. I believe that's the type of technology they used to build the fucking pyramids. Like power their cities and all that stuff. They're and using through, them through as, and why, why, energy. Why the pyramids on? Would they have Orion's? It, it's basically the the, all the pyramids are on ley lines. Yeah, you that, see, like, that, that's that's basically done to enhance their ability and spiritual powerness. You see, the, like the pyramid of Giza, like it points like within one percent of like true north. Like uh, I, I, I believe Napoleon did something to stop that, but. Uh, you, what, know, like, you know, Napoleon actually went to Egypt and uh, took a cannon to the pyramids bro, and the what, Sphinx. What do, you, what do you think he was trying <laughs> to stop? What a pit, man. He said, fuck this shit. I don't care how long it's been up. I'm taking a cannon to it. So everyone in history is going to know that mm -hmm. I'm the person who did that. And by the way, Napoleon is one of the biggest fucking alpha males in history, even though his fucking bitch was cheating on him. He's still one of the biggest alpha males in history. When he came back from prison, which they basically seclusion, they had an army there to meet him. He had an army at his back. Instead of fighting, he went up to his opposing troops, threw down his sword and said, if any of you want to kill your emperor, go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. They all laid down their arms and fucking fought into his side. But one of the most heroic things in history. And I just felt like putting that out there. I love Napoleon. So this is great. Right. I think Napoleon is right below Julius Caesar, but the man himself is Augustus Caesar. Augustus Caesar took Rome when it was crumbling. It was like pretty much at the end where America's kind of laying right now. And uh, mm -hmm. he basically went in there, got rid of the corrupt Senate, made sure he was a dictator, but he was the only benevolent dictator in world history. And what I mean by that is he actually did things that were good for the population. He started making morality laws. If you cheated on your wife or your husband, you might get flagged. You might get stoned. Well, he's not uh, the only good yeah, dictator. Are, are we forgetting was, no, Adolf? He was no, the only. Stop. <laughs> he was the only. Uh, he was the best world leader in history. You know what else he did? He basically passed laws that uh, people couldn't kill their slaves. Mm -hmm. uh, back then, people were owners, and they thought they could do with their slaves what they want. Augustus Caesar was one of the first ones who said, "You know what." They are slaves, but you can't actually kill them. So if you guys want to go down throughout history, Augustus Caesar was basically the first real revolutionary who basically said human beings cannot be killed. Mm -hmm. Who's the best president of all time? JFK. I knew you'd say JFK. I feel like dudes of the past though, is so much harder to gain a big crowd because you have to actually be in front of those people or have the reputation. Like we can just talk into a camera and reach millions of people. Like, if they live today, like, and they were speaking their shit, like, fuck. You know, technically, the internet works for the government because they set this up so they can see, oh, white identity, dissident right movement. Yep. There's the left wing. Yep. If we were doing this in person with pitchforks, the government would shit their pants. It only takes, like, 3,000 people to start a revolution. 3%. So they're like, hey, 3%. Fuck. Revolutionary war, 3%. That's it. Hey, it's like data harvest too, oh, so they know how to program us. You're three, get it? <laughs> Let's go. I'm the revolutionary. But 
if we're, as long as we're online, the government, like, they kind of laugh at us. You know the beauty of what they did? Imagine all these services like Zoom, Skype, WhatsApp. They're all free services, but if you're free, they're actually getting more than mm, they actually, yeah. you know, get ask for. Like, for instance, only two things that are really free, porn and, you know, both that shit's no good for you. So if you move on to what's going on with these services, think about this. The best scientists in the world, the best engineer in the world, the best numerologist in the world, they'll fucking get information from the best of the best of everyone mm. through these free services. And then they'll create some fu fucking Heidel, you know, Jekyll and Hyde monster that all those sums couldn't create themselves. And therefore, they'll have technology 50, 60, 70 years ahead of fucking human but, beings. Because before these people actually network and get all that shit done, the government has all their fucking work. That's why data is worth more than oil now, because they're taking everything they know about the hive mind and using it so they can program us. If they understand our minds more than we understand ourselves, then they can use AI to predictive program like all of us. Like they can use AI to look at our facial expressions and tell if we're lying or not. Like they, they did Hollywood movies, uh, all these war patriotic movies before they did the wars. Oh, you're going to work Israel. Remember the movie, The Patriot? Oh, is that uh, okay. my favorite okay. actor? So I'm not going to say his name. Gibson. Oh, there it is. There it is. Mel Gibson, <laughs> Seven Life Path Capricorn. So this guy, in the very beginning of that movie, The Patriot, he has a rocking chair. And he's working on a rocking chair. Watch the movie. It's a great movie. The very beginning of it. He has a rocking chair, and he puts it down. Before he sits on it, he says, nine pounds, 11 ounces. Perfect. Just perfect. He sits on it, and the chair fucking basically falls apart. That happened a year before 9-11. That movie came out. 2000. They always leave clues. You know why they leave clues, Zerka? It, it was in the Matrix, too. The 9-11. Mm -hmm. Do you know why they leave clues? Um, oh, they have to do it in the material world so they can do it. Right? They, 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 they have to go ahead. Yeah. It's karma. Exactly. They do it. They, they basically put it out there. So they actually they're asking tell for people, permission they too. tell people what they're doing so they believe that negates their karma. Right. Same thing with Balenciaga putting all that fucking pedophile yeah. shit in their It's the same thing. reason it's not, I, it's not that's why your history, why they tell you history. But uh, some people have said they are psychically asking for permission and others have said it's like a coke head. How as expensive it is, is as coke is, he always shares it because misery loves company. The depressed coke head okay. will share his coke. Yeah. But I really think they have to ask for permission. They have they, to, they for have subconscious, to they have to tell. Yeah, they have and, to. And you don't ask, as they get off on you it, don't too, get, they you, don't, on you, you don't have to ask people lower than you for permission from energetic energy. The lion doesn't ask the gazelle for shit. Yeah. He fucking tells the gazelle exactly what he's going to do. And that's mm. what they do. They release their karma by actually telling them what they're going to do. Now, I'm I'm the, you know, I'm not these guys that all the conspiracy guys think like, let's say Hillary Clinton's evil or the, the ruling class evil. They're not always evil. They have days where they actually give to charity. Yeah, they have days where they want to come back to God. They just always relapse. So that's why people get confused. It's like, is this guy evil? Is this? What, what, They're not. No human what, can be evil 100% of the time. What, what has Hurry Clinton done that is uh, positive? Not, okay. she, brought, she brought me here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, We're there again. Gotcha. Hey. Okay. There, How did the, exactly that happen? I'm, that Kosovo, was curious. 1999 Kosovo. Kosovo. Oh, you're from Kosovo? Okay, Bosnian War, gotcha. They're talking about the gay frog stuff in the water. I think what people need to understand about that is when you're drinking tap water and fluoride, like they can put hormones in the water and literally make you drink, drink this. Drink this. This is the best water out there. You know how you know this is the best water? Or Fiji. You know how? No, fuck that shit. You know what the best water is? That's the second one. You know how? You know this is the, it gets, it's the most expensive. So think about this way: the elite need to go places. They need to travel. They need access to water. So they fucking jack the price of this shit up. So the poor people won't buy this. The rich people don't care about money. They got their water supply. Everyone else is fucking drinking that fucking four hour shit. <coughs> See how the game works? Boom, boom, boom. I think a lot of people don't understand they're depressed because they're putting shit in their bodies. Like what you eat and you, what you drink really controls your cognitive ability and how in touch you are with God. Like think about it. It's the holy water. You need to drink water. Your body is majority water. It's more important than what you eat. Yeah, there's also a Japanese water memory study. Do you remember that? If you say water, water, does, you, you, yeah. water does uh, have um, emotional energy uh, think, attached bro, to it. Think about it. all the water in you. They're using frequencies to distort you like the, your body you're a crystallized being of water you're a physical state no even even that in the 5G. bible 
Yeah. <laughs> this, that 5G. No, they say even in the Bible before let there be light, it was just darkness and water. There's a lot of people make that I argument. I call it the Matrix's blood. You think that's for a minute? Like it's, it's Andrew Tate like ruined the Matrix for me. Uh, that uh, used to be uh, so uh, cool. Uh, stop, stop, stop. Okay. He says the Matrix is the government, the Rothschilds. That's garbage. He's never said okay. the word Rothschild okay. in his life. Why yes, he not? Yes, he has. He has? Yes, he has. He said a Jewish yes, name? He, yes, he says Rothschild before. Not many times. But basically, here's how it, go, it goes. The Rothschilds run the world within the Matrix, but they are not the Matrix. The Matrix is basically a simulation, a virtual reality. And that's why numerology and astrology work, because they're the cheat codes within this virtual reality. You learn the cheat codes, you start understanding how this world works a lot quicker, yeah, and, and they, you start stop making mistakes, too. They, would, would you be affected less? You get fucked with less if you master them? Yeah, the orange was, pill. Yeah. Why do you call it orange? Uh, orange uh, adds up to 33. So uh, all the words. O R G. Oh, they, they you got the it. orange pill. And that's why it's orange. Red, red pill has lost red, its red pill is nine. Red pill is associated to the root chakra, which is basically associated to sex. Think so I'll, I'll give you an example. The root. Do you know what chakras are? Yeah, you're okay. talking about sacral yeah, chakra. Okay. So it's not just people who have chakras. It's also the earth itself that has chakras. And by the way, you can feel these. This isn't hocus pocus. You can feel a sensation, throat chakra, third eye. You can feel mm, these wheels. You can feel them. So when it comes down to the earth, the root chakra of the earth is San Francisco. That is why they perverted that to the LGBT. Wait, what do you mean by that? The, root, the sexual mm. energy within the earth, the main place, is by San Francisco. That is where the root chakra of the earth is located. That is the main sexual organ of the earth. So they basically made sure that was LGBT capital because they knew if they did it there, it would spread everywhere. Proof. There is a tree. Wait, then what's Israel? Hold up. There's proof that um, in in San Francisco, uh, Sacramento area, there's a tree that grows in Northern California that doesn't grow anywhere else. It's called the redwood. Oh, Again, red, where Republicans stand red. there. The, the it was Bohemian Grave, right? Bohemian Grave. Yeah. Yeah. So Allison. basically, when it comes to about that redwood, it basically shows you it's connected to the root chakra system, which is basically the sexual organs. They made sure to pervert San Francisco on purpose because that is the root chakra of the earth. They knew if they did it there, it would spread everywhere. They're smart. What's Israel then? Israel, I would not call... Because uh, me, it's a holy I, war. For I, a Catholic's I, position, I, it's a holy war. For you, Israel would be the asshole. I think Israel is very strategically placed because of the Dead Sea. I think the Dead Sea is extremely important. But there's no organ? You I, wouldn't I, assign no, 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 organ? There, there is. There is. I, I'm not going to go into what it is, but there is one there. I'm not going to go into what it is. He's going to say it's the heart of the world. It's not. It's not. It's not the uh, crown. It's not the heart. It's nothing like that. So you feel um, good down here in the Florida sun? Like you just feel charged uh, by it. Actually, in Masonic literature, they talk about humans being solar capsules. And it's not for vitamin D. It's literally SOL. You get soul if you stay in sunlight. Like your it, soul burns it, they, more. It, you need no, it. The Masons believe the sun is God and it gives life. Yeah, that too. But, uh, but the, I'm talking about they have like uh, medical books. Are you a traveling man? Bro. Whoa. Oh, what the hey, fuck? Hey, hey. What the fuck? How do you know that? You know that. Yo, you're, you're amazing, aren't you? That's how you know what that means, huh? No. Zerg, uh, Zerg. <laughs> Think about atoms are 99% empty space. So everything's light. Like light carries information. So the more you're in the sun, you're literally getting the knowledge of Christ. You know, I, you guys are not religious at all no no i believe in a higher power though no Bro, doubt all of that like, is, like for, I, you I, don't I, believe there's a human who got divine believe, or divine psychic revelations to write on paper stop wow that's so all of us i stop. mean we're, we're you guys are going that. against the thing that brought every civilization what proof do you have that a literal muhammad fucking started writing a book yeah. at 40. <laughs> well, that's fake this, news. This, this, that this one's is, fake news this, this is garbage man okay i have there's no proof of that do there's you believe no, signs and symbols do, rule the world I, yes but i do not believe uh mary got pregnant without getting fucked okay i'm i'm, I'm keeping it real i do that's not that's why he's that going possible. to hell check this out do you believe uh, okay. freemasons believe this and geniuses and philosophers do signs and symbols rule the world yes it rules the subconscious mind too which fucking symbol is the largest that's the cross i would say that's the, the cross. i would say the jewish pyramid two pyramids upside down one going one up i think that's the probably seal of solomon is not more well known than the cross are you I, kidding I, everyone I, knows not the more fucking well, cross not more well known but um it's more hidden 
For instance, Carl Jung said if one symbol like the cross can touch a billion lives, just what about just the Walmart? That, what about Walmart? If there's truth there. What about Walmart? You ever see their symbol? I know they do something with religion. Seven Up is the and, seven know, can, planets can you, of antiquity. Can you, can you pull, uh, is pull, Nike actually pull, Saturn's logo? You, the, yes. Can you put up? Can you you're the up? most anti-Semitic Jew I've ever met. I love Jews. I love Me my too. people. Okay. All right, man. Uh, uh, put up, put up Walmart symbol. I want people to see this. Uh, you guys are about to trip out. You, you, you said. See, no, yeah, that, no. Put up the blue one. Oh, now, I you see that? Yeah, yeah, you no, see no. that? You, no, it's right there. That's cool. They see that? See okay. Make sure that uh, everyone there can see it. I remember this. I just forgot. Okay. I, I now noticed. you see how Walmart has six, six little spots, six little rays. Are you gonna That's say a Jewish star, bro? It's hidden in plain sight. The, the Waltons. Them. If you take all the Waltons money combined, they worth more than Musk. So again, that's this, not a Jewish family. Walberg? No. Oh yeah, not. they are. But I'm trying to show you they're paying homage, bro. This is how you pay homage in a hidden way. Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone is so blind to this stuff. It's so easy to so see. So, like, the Gmail sign is like the yes, 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 100%. Yeah, Again, that one, yeah. Uh, what, what about the Nike logo? If you bring it up, apparently how Jews, uh, well, these, they're not no, Jewish let's people. Say, let's say Zionists. Yeah, okay. I, I want to say Jews. oral art. I am, Jew, I am a Jewish man. They are Zionists. There are a difference between Jews and Zionists. Okay, this is where Kanye fucked up. Mm -hmm. He should have said Zionist and not Jews. Zionism is a political movement. A lot of Jews are in it, but there's Christians who are in it too. Being Jewish is actually being Jewish. Those are two different things. Kanye fucked up. He should have went in and said Zionists instead of Jews. He wouldn't have these issues. And he'd have uh, and, and by the way, I'm going to tell him that when I see him. It's all the banks. I think people just keep overlooking that. It's like they keep thinking of religion and not in the sense of money. Like follow where the money goes. Stop thinking in all the terms of religion. That's no way. When, oh when you think of a regular Jewish dude, he's not really here to defend any conspiracy or whatever you bring to him. But a Zion will defend You'll instinctively get defensive. But sometimes they're Christian Zionists. Those are the worst. <laughs> those are <laughs> evangelical. No, I think, you know who I think are the worst is the Jehovah's Witness. You can't tell them those people <laughs> shit. Like a Muslim would actually listen. I've had clients in the House of Saud. You know, I've given readings My to favorite, people at the very top of the food chain. The, Not the show of his witness. They ain't trying to listen to shit. The best group is the black Hebrew Israelites. Those guys make yeah. they make white people kiss their boots. Have you seen those YouTube yes, videos? I, I, They're I thought, extreme, I, bro. I thought they were all like a setup. Is that like for real? Those aren't yeah. like paid actors. Well, they make some okay arguments. I'm not going to say I believe that stuff, but like. They make good, uh, okay arguments. Man, it, it would... It, you know Speaker's Corner? They're all there. Yeah, dude, the I would dudes. never get down and kiss anyone's shoe. Yeah. Are you fucking out your mind? Do, do you white people know? Do you white fucking liberal trash know that white people were actually slaves to blacks too? The Moors, actually a very powerful black tribe, invaded Spain. That's why all those people in Spain have a much darker complexion than the people in Florence. Because they were conquered. And the, all the white women there were raped. So again, every, every, every race has been on top. Every race has been fucking slaves. And by the way, to say that it's white privilege in this country or any other, when a hundred years ago, whites were 30% of the world population, and now they're fucking like seven or 8% of the world population, this is garbage, man. Whites don't work anything anymore. Indians come to this country and make more money than whites. Pakistanis, uh, everyone comes in here except maybe blacks and make more money than whites. And the reason the blacks to make, uh, would make less is because most black households are led by women. How the fuck is a woman going to teach a boy how to become a man? I, I don't know how that does. Maybe, maybe one out of every hundred women can do it, but it's just not viable. And that's why people who are of African-American descent in this country, that's why they're usually in poverty, because they're led by women. Well, there's some people who say black people, like, let's be honest, to be a genius, you got to think very fast. No one thinks faster than Kobe receiving. Well, right? right, but they say this is a different type of like neural pathway where it's like they're made to be athletes or they got a lot of soul for music and entertainment. Do you believe that certain races are meant to do yes. certain jobs? Yes, really. I, th I think uh, black people are much more creative than uh, white people. I think white people strength comes in technology. Most of cars, most of uh, airplanes, most of computers were pretty much invented by whites. 
So I think every race is really good. Like the Chinese, they're not really good. They're industrious. No, 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 they're not really good at creating things. But the Chinese are very good at reinventing the mouse trap, making a, the, the mouse trap better. They find the flaws in the design and make oh, it like better. Oh, like fine tune. Yeah. So they that's they why they're the highest IQ. They, they do very. I'm not. I'm not sure if they should be the highest IQ because they lack creativity. So when you lack creativity, you have a glass ceiling. Here, this is why America worked because America always got the brightest immigrants from all over the world, the fucking brightest Nazis, the brightest blacks, the brightest whites, they all came to America and America had that intellectual power. Now, people aren't proud to be Americans anymore and that's a fucking fucked up thing because you have to understand it's only the white trash in this country who wants to be communists. It's only the white trash in this country tells you, oh, uh, let's move to socialism so it's mo more fair. No, you're a fucking loser. And you can't fucking compete. And you want fucking handouts like a fucking woman. That's what it comes down to. I can't stand fucking people like this, dude. There's one thing I do not allow in GG33. Fucking communists. As a matter of fact, if you guys want to know who one of my heroes is, General Franco. Look him up and see what he did to communists. I love this. because Guys, what do you think feminism is? All that equality shit? That's like a branch of their religion of communism, right? Uh, they have, you know, the feminists started with the communists because in the 1930s, when the communists started infiltrating America, what would happen is they would take a couple whores and take them to a union meeting and just fucking, hey, who wants to fuck these bitches? And all of a sudden they start, you know, infiltrating the top leadership yeah. of the unions. This is what communists do. Communists always find useful idiots. That's why, you know, when it comes down and they, to And the useful idiots, they get... Yeah, yeah, They're yeah, the yeah, first yeah. to go when they uh, get Iran, their... 1979. The liberals uh, teamed up with the uh, Mujahideen and the uh, uh, conservative Muslims who wanted to pass Sharia law. They teamed up to get rid of the imperial Shah. Once it happened, the liberals thought they were going to have uh, democracy. They thought they were going to have uh, a republic. Instead, yeah. they were told to line ISIS up against time. the wall. Let's go. Yeah, put your hands yeah. on the wall. They fucking got a bullet to the head. So this is what happens. Liberals are used as useful idiots in democracy because civilized people don't want to kill their own people. And then after the whole shit falls, the people who started the revolution actually start putting bullets in people. Do you know what the scariest th moment in history was probably? 1979 when Saddam Hussein took power. And you want to talk about a gangster. This guy forced the vice president, the president to resign. And then he took power and then he called all the leadership of the Ba'ath Party. And he walks into an auditorium smoking a cigar. And he just doesn't say anything. He starts calling out names. And then when you, he calls out a name, security guards come. They drag that person out. Two minutes later, gunshot. And this happened for about six hours. People were in there trembling. Could you imagine you're scared that your name's about to get called and you might fucking be shot? Mm -hmm. This is a common, this is, this is brutal. That's called mentality. ending corruption, by the way. I mean, it, 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 unless you're corrupt as hell, you know, to begin with. Off your point, too, I feel like they used, like, white rich people's, like, they love to virtue signal. And they use that to... Liberals? Yeah, Democrats. Yeah, that's what they're good at, for sure. Like, they're like, oh, we love the gays. We love black people. We all this. It's like... They're have bad, have the good. gays babysit your kids, then. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just virtue signaling all day long. Have you seen the overlap on gay men and pedophilia? Go look at that chart. It's hard to find. It's ridiculous, bro. It's... They overlap so much. It's like, bro... Yeah, listen, I'm not saying there's not good gay men in the world. There's just, good I, ones, but I if you start talking about I, kids, I, I, they I start smiling. I haven't met too many, but here, here's the point. Why are they fighting so hard to be around kids? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why do they fight so hard to be in Boy Scouts? Why do they fight so hard? And here's the point. It, it, when gays won their right to adopt, when women, gay women, lesbian women adopt couples... They don't care if it's a boy or a girl. Yet when it's gay men couples who adopt boys, for mm -hmm. some reason, 90% of the time, they want little boys. Now, I'm not saying anything. I'm just <laughs> pointing out stats. Why are these gay men who are foster parents insisting on little boys, yet when it comes down to it, the women don't give a fuck who they have? That, that's just interesting to me. Mm. If someone has something to say to, you know, say this is bullshit, cool. But I just want, uh, why? Why it's, is that? And you know, they're gay men's fetish, and this is just comedy. Gay men, gay men's fetish is not actually a male. 
it's deviancy. That's why they don't get married. They go to penthouses with eight other men and have orgies. Well, they don't sounds- actually get married like you know, one on one. Sounds like the war room. And <laughs> it's because the mind gets warped. <laughs> You're worse than me, bro. Leave them alone. Okay, they've th- they've had enough punishment. But check this out. These get and they never talk about gay men like this. Like the Andrew Tate crowd will never talk about gay stats like this. Uh, it, They're it, smart. It, Those I, are business. I, I, I think I think there's two different war rooms. I think there's a war room in Dubai, and I think there's a war room in Miami. And I think the war room in Miami has a lot more haram shit than the war room in Dubai. But that's just my are, personal opinion. I mean, which one's straight? Uh, the one in Dubai, probably. I'm gonna walk in that one, right? Fucking. Okay. I feel like they pushed accepting all the gay stuff on us so much too because it was like psychological projection it was their insecurity that they don't accept themselves so they're like forcing us to well, accept no, he them thinks so the elites validated. are straight the very top of the game the mm-hmm. puppet elite like you know obama like the clintons yeah, i think I you're think wrong they, here i think they suck someone off for sure i think i think you're wrong because you know alistair crowley he said all of his black magic influential uh dark arts came when he first had his first ever homo- uh, uh, homosexual experience he hated gays I, he tried it and then and then he started doing he got him to trance like states in the desert fucking a dude in the ass in front of well, a camel I think that's what god meant by like once you do that your your psyche goes into pure degeneracy you're, yeah. you're just you're addicted to chaos yeah what's pain. the opposite of holy your butthole so you're going away from <laughs> god you're good. supposed to and i even <laughs> tell people when you first of all when you pray you should be showered and clean that's how i do it you should some people pray or they're like sweaty and shit like that or you fuck the dude and pray like what the fuck but uh yeah gay apparently uh the highest level of black magic is always sodomy mm-hmm. always well, that's how they control a bunch of men is you feminize them you make them gay because then they're just submissive like, that's they're, in they're my psyche doc- submissive that's in my documentary is k griggs you heard about when, this bitch? when did this come out uh i got like another month but uh in my documentary she talks about the easiest way to psychically control someone is gay sodomy rape ritual and most special forces worldwide they bring you whores and prostitutes get you get the young mm-hmm. new newcomers drunk and then the generals they're called cherry marines when they're going up rank cherry because they're getting their cherries popped. gotcha they get fucked by the generals and it's not just a satanic top it has to be done just like skull and bones just like all of these groups you have to get fucked in the ass i was, when i worked i used to be a rosicrucian they're straight they weren't homosexual but dude everyone they knew from these they're not secret societies these are open societies yeah, yeah. open societies. they're all homosexual secret? bro most freemasons and stuff you, they do you, gay can, hazing David, can you pull out the knights templars can you pull out their logo because all this stuff comes from the knights templars the jesuits all these organizations think, think come from the knights templars based, oh, based watch this we're about to pull this up i'm about to show you something i wish alex jones knew this alex jones man no no go put up their logo just put in a logo, Knights Templars. Right there, right there, right there. That two horse, that two, that horse, right there. Yeah, do that, right there. Yeah, now put that for everyone to see. It's like a Spartan thing. No, no, it's, it's a, little, a little bit more than that. See, everyone see that? See that so, so basically, these guys were fucking uh, fags, and this was their symbol because they were all homosexuals. Two men on a horse. Yeah, you don't have to call them faggots, bro. Oh, yeah, you can, yeah. <laughs> I got you. I got you for that. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fed. Wait, wait, explain it again. So you got two men on a horse. What the fuck do you think the guy in the back is doing? <laughs> Riding. You know exactly. <laughs> He's going to war. He's, He's a real man. man. Spartans were gay. Uh, I, I mean, hell, dude, I wasn't there. I couldn't tell you, man. But I can look at the symbolism and tell you what the fuck this means. And it's not anything kosher. Apparently, the greatest generals, warriors throughout history, always had a young. Man, Julius Boy Caesar was fuck. not a fag. Really? Uh, no, Augustus Caesar was not a fag. Uh, Napoleon definitely was not a fag, dude. They fucking caught I letters. I love Caesar, so I hope uh, he's right. Know, they, uh, they caught letters of Napoleon going to his other generals. They intercepted them. And he was complaining how his wife was cheating on him, uh, all this other stuff. But there is never anything in there about homosexuality. You seen that Hitler's homosexual Yeah, stuff? He, he was. He, he, you believe he, that? He, no, Hitler had something called the brown shirts. Before the SS yeah. was born, it was the brown shirts. Which and started the, with the wizard. It, it, Did you see that? And the brown shirts basically were a bunch of homosexuals. They were his, basically his hood, his hoodlums before he got the SS. So there was something called the Night of the Long Knives, where he basically went out there and he fucking killed all these guys. And so, they're all from the Tool Society? 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, or oh, you know about that, huh? Good for w- you. Wasn't Hitler on just drugs 24-7? No, apparently you can't generate that much power and influence without doing sodomy. You have to do this part. Uh, or there's another one. Still just Eyes wide on. shut. Sacrifice. Baby yeah, sacrifice. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, Tell no, no, them okay, about okay, what okay, happens okay, on okay. Epstein Island. It's not rape. It's, it's, There's uh, way more. I'll give you an example. When um, Bruce Jenner uh, was basically uh, in an accident and he killed somebody, uh, within two months he became trans. So what happened is the people at the top of the game basically went up to him and be like, yo, you want to go to jail or you want to make fucking millions of dollars? So he basically chose to become trans, make millions of dollars. The, the fact that he killed someone in a car accident got conveniently wiped under the rug. So sometimes... Kobe was a, a sacrifice. Uh, I think what happened was Kobe's daughter was supposed to be their trans, and he refused to do that. So I think that had no, to No, he beat LeBron's... Uh, when LeBron beat yeah, him, yeah, yeah, Dwayne yeah, Wade, yeah. like Dwayne Wade took yeah, his yeah, spot. So, yeah, exactly. Dwayne Wade took Kobe's spot. So Dwayne Wade uh, is going with his child becoming trans to go with the agenda. But Kobe, I believe he refused to deal. I personally believe Kobe was a real soul. Do you he- want to talk about what you talked about with the uh, after the plane go down? Why and all that happened after? Oh, um, Kobe's it- name in Japanese. Kobe means COVID. So he he was he got Wouldn't killed. Wouldn't it be Hebrew? Why not Japanese? Hebrew, exactly. I mean, well, it, that's why did you say? Japanese. Oh, it's not Japanese. Okay, that's why I believe it's you said one it, you said Hebrew I earlier. You're was, right. I believe it was Hebrew. Was, uh, whatever. It's in one of those languages, and when people say that, they're basically manifesting mm-hmm. Kobe as manifesting. So that's why they had him killed right before the outbreak came. And did you see Alicia Key, what she was doing? She, Alicia Keys during this ceremony, they had that all prepared. Like yes. they knew he was gonna die. I was like, whoa, yes. what the fuck? Mm-hmm. I mean, they even have a, a cartoon of Kobe fucking yeah. going down Pass. in the plane. It's something you know, about they, passing they, ball, and then it explodes, you know, and he I'm, dies. I'm, I'm surprised the Simpsons didn't do an episode mm-hmm. of it. They always get shit right like that, man. They people think I'm a fortune teller. Go watch The Simpsons. Those fuckers get almost everything right. Even my fucking billionaire buddies say it's uncanny how The Simpsons. And you have to understand, these people don't believe in this stuff, and they're fucking bringing me, texting me clips about, yo, did you see what The Simpsons predicted? The Trump one was my favorite. Like they nailed it. Even yeah. coming down the ladder or mm-hmm. the it's creepy. Well, you know, uh, Trump's uncle was going through Tesla's work. Now, Tesla, let's get into this. Not just the <laughs> coils. This guy talked about infinite ether energy coming from the fucking stars and planets. Yeah. And nobody talks about that. Well, th- well, that's what I'm telling you. Donald Trump's uncle was the one who, uh, for the government, went in and took all of his work and started doing all this research. After he got that stuff, the Trump family became very wealthy. So Donald Trump is connected to Tesla in a way. Mm. They're all connected. Obama, go back to Indonesia. He's related to the biggest gangster in Indonesia. You know Obama's worth fucking 10 times what Trump is worth? Yeah, I know that. Oh, come on, man. Yeah. This guy has all his money. Yeah, fucking Hillary Vanguard. Clinton's worth 100 times what Trump's worth. She's a- actually, huge. actually, Hillary Clinton is very dumb with uh, Bill Clinton. I, I'm going no, to be keep it real because everyone knows the Clintons are fucking con artists because all that money was going through the Clinton Foundation, all that money through Haiti. The Haitians got 2% on the fucking dollar. All, they know that and be people know they're guilty. Obama is stealing so much more money. He fucking sent $1.5 billion to Iran, probably got a fucking 40% kickback on all that money. And everyone thinks Obama's clean, but the Clintons is a lot less. And everyone thinks they're guilty. So the Obamas head and shoulders above the Clintons. These guys are amateurs so, uh, compared how, to the how, fucking how you, Clintons. How, how do you They're enter not. office with like eight hundred thousand dollars and leave with like six hundred million? Ask, seven, ask Nancy that, Pelosi. How the fuck do you do that? It's ask not his Nancy book. Pelosi. No, ask her husband. That mm-hmm. nigga knows how to trade. Oh, you, you mean <laughs> the guy who got hit by a hammer with his gay lover? Yeah, that was real news. That shit was That shit's wild. real. That shit's real. They I try to the cover video. up. I they try it. to, but the uh, video, the, the cops come in, and this guy just takes a hammer, and the guy doesn't look all there. They try to say the guy was MAGA. Fuck all that. This guy was liberal to the core, gay rights, all that shit. They opened the door just so casually. It was the uh, funniest. And he's holding movie. his hand. He's like, yeah. well, what are you doing with the hammer, sir? Put down that hammer. And he fucking went straight to his head. I'm like, wow, this LGB fucking crowd is nuts. Dude, someone said this content's gold. You'll never, ever see anything better than this. Because yeah. everyone else that I collaborate with for truth or stuff, they're not into the conspiracy. They like politics more. This is way better. Go into MKUltra. Yeah. Right? 
Because they say they mastered it in they, World they, War II. They they say they shut down MK Ultra. I personally believe Obama's MK Ultra. There's certain people who are too fucking good. Obama is fucking gold. Like, I, let's be honest, man. You're good at what you do. I'm good at what I do. Obama is like the top of the food chain when it comes down to it. He's been trained. Yeah, watch he's his charismatic tone. as watch, fuck. Watch, watch his tone. Yeah, he watch got, how he talks with his yeah. hands. Obama is the the pinnacle. Highest Louis, level deceiver. Louis Farrakhan is right up there. Louis Farrakhan, he's born on the 11th. Obama is an 11th life path. So you start seeing it. Ronald Reagan, remember him? He was the he was the uh, Obama for the Republicans. Guy, yeah. He was an 11th life path too. What about so Nixon? That's Nixon, my favorite guy. Nixon was a rat. But hey, Nixon's the only one who said Bohemian Grove is the most goddamn he, he, faggy he, thing he, I've ever seen. He was also the only non-Mason free uh, yeah. uh, president he, until just a crook. After right? yeah, he was just a crook. I was surprised. My favorite president. To, I was a <laughs> really because you say hey, he's the only one who said this shit's gay. I, I, Everyone else I, is like I, fuck I, it. We'll I, go to your. If you look at Nixon, he's the one who made the deal with Mao. In 1972, oh, to get, and, yeah. and he's the one who basically made China a superpower. Yeah. So I would uh, honestly think Nixon probably is a traitor. And in all honesty, I think he, thanks for reminding me of, to talk about him because I'm probably gonna go piss on his fucking grave. Or if you hate <laughs> Nixon that much, <laughs> fuck him. You just stop by Biden first. Well, I'm like I told you, I don't drink haram. But the next time Biden goes, I swear to God, I'm you know, calling, joking, I'm, I'm, joking. I'm calling, I'm calling you up, and you're, we're, we're the the audience is gonna pick what the fuck I'm gonna start drinking. I'll fucking drink moonshine. Fuck that <laughs> motherfucker. I will drink. I will get drunk, and I haven't got drunk since John McCain died. Damn. So again, Republican McCain. too. This is you know goes both ways. Would you, cons- are you, would you consider yourself a Republican, or you think no? It's, I'm a conservative. Fuck the Republicans. Yes, yeah, they're gay. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. We're on the same page. Republicans. Fuck it was it like sixty percent of them are gay. Everyone's gay so, now. Listen, like, listen. When it comes to Republicans, I've been in a room with these guys who are senators, who these guys who are congressmen. Let me tell you something. They're above average intelligence. These are not the smartest people in the world. They're like the average IQ is like what hundred. They might have hundred ten. So they're like employees. Yeah, for the dude. Yeah. I, the people who finance them, they're the ones who call the shots, dude. Mm. They talk about kingmakers. Kingmakers are very simple. Uh, when it comes down to it, there's people out there who control political parties. Like, for instance, Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi's dad is a mobster. Well, he, he, simplify for Zoomers. Basically, chat. imagine we're po- po- politicians. We'd be begging like dogs for the top donator. The top donator in this chat who sends the most money... That's what politicians do. Yeah, they try, yeah, they try and get sense, his endorsement. In a sense, in a sense. I mean, that's the same thing preachers do. They go out there. Could you imagine these preachers? They're the best in the fucking world. They have a whole bunch of poor people. And you have these preachers who go up and start saying this. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a servant of God. And I love you. And as a servant of God, if you want to show faith, you have to give me some money. Because if you have $5 in your pocket, that means give me two. And I will bless you because I am a servant. That's what they Amen. do. Amen. That's, that's Kenneth what Copeland guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I saw yeah, that. Yeah. Actually, that's Brother Love from the WWE. Brother Love. Brother Love. Mm-hmm. If you want some good content, look up Brother Love uh, on YouTube from WWF back in those days, man. Gold. It, what, what, do you, gold. what is this? Why are evangelicals? I always I get different spo- response from everyone. Why are they in love with Israel? Why are they? Because they think they'll go to heaven if they did, give did, enough did, did, money. Because the I believe the Bible was rewritten, the King James Bible, and it says uh, Jews are the chosen people. So after you put that propaganda in there, after a couple generations, they start reading it, believing it. Remember, um, everyone was against the creation of Israel in the 1920s. The Christians all over the world said no, easy no, no, now, easy no, here. no, no. So what happened? You had World War II, and everything changed. Mm. That's it. I mean, we're, we're cool. <laughs> what do you think World War II is really over? What what it's about? Mm. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, don't <laughs> respond. He's gonna repeat that one. Don't repeat that. But uh, Z- so, Zerk is tapping out on yeah. that one, man. No, no, it, it really. When you see the end game being that uh, state, I'm not gonna mention as the end result of World War II. Yes, it it gets a lot less foggy in your head. Like the mm-hmm. history starts to go. Whoa, this is. A- 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 and again. Jews are the smartest people in the world, and if you have a problem with that, you don't understand how history works. These are very, very smart people. Basically, um, what he's saying is most broke and middle-class Jews 
and the rich ones too actually all said bro we don't want to leave germany we're fucking running the that game true. we're that running true. the game and so the jewish so or the Zio elites were like you don't want to leave germany get get adolf right now and he's gonna crack the whip and take them to the whole pr promised land and not that many went in the beginning it was like it, it was, three, called, five it was called the transfer agreement what would happen is yeah we're not doing this bro we're doing comedy no no but Fuck this shit. what happened was this is the final solution to my fucking career you're, you're fucking ending we're not doing this he opened this fucking podcast with what's oh, it was it six million <laughs> bro and, nobody and, does and, that and, and i can say this if this man's scared to talk about this shit man i will find one person i'm getting intel it. saying stop talking it's not just chat it wasn't six billion and one or 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 one under six million whatever when you refresh on wikipedia whatever that says that's how many go died. back to 1913 it says jews died in russia it's always that six number just like walmart with their home i gotta be i gotta hear uh, take, take him down <laughs> <laughs> so here's what it comes down to you have to understand that people in positions of power the most based dude on the internet <laughs> is jewish you're like the biggest truth there eh? your own people are gonna slaughter you my own people <laughs> love me <laughs> they love me everyone loves me except uh npcs <laughs> and feminists and communists mm -hmm. and and a whole bunch of other fucking degenerates and you know what I, I i really think that people should just um tell someone who actually gives a fuck what do you think about that do you want to talk about like how yeah, they all want to change the subject no Woo! It's like, Ric Flair! Woo! Go ahead, man. Even when you and me are walking around like in public or getting food, it's like people are just either snarky or super, super kind. It's like when you're... The super kind ones, I tip well. Yeah, well, <laughs> but I mean, I feel like... I'm a good tipper, man. I feel like a lot of people need to understand that like even I'm sitting on this podcast right now because I stopped caring about what people think of me. It's like, and you're going to get a lot of hate for it because... The higher you go in life, you're going to make people around you feel inferior. And it makes them look in the mirror and start to think, you know, am I doing enough with my life? And a lot of people don't want to admit that to themselves. So instead, they'll hate on people who are trying to help you and trying to give you content that you really want to hear and talk about. And like, y'all got to stop getting so hateful when like we don't talk about just everything you want to hear. Like if you don't agree with 100 percent, you agree you, with 90 percent, like what are you talking about? Like. You're either following this type of stuff or you're being brainwashed. Tell me like, yeah, it, think about how outcasted we were during the whole shit. But that was a big act of submission, like wearing the mask. It's like it's, it's trying to make the slave be more obedient. So they're going to give you little tasks to, you know, trick your subconscious mind into being submissive. Listen, I think everything you said is on point. But the fact of the matter is these people try to kill us. Yeah, no. It, and they, they literally tried to kill us. And um, basically, it's the biggest psyop in world history, and feminism is right up there. You know, I, I honestly, yeah. I honestly think most of the problems in the world today come from feminism. There's not one thing you can say that doesn't come from feminism: broken homes, poverty, it, uh, any, 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 anything to do with criminality mm -hmm. comes straight up from feminism. They We're have not. to destroy the family unit. The family unit is the most important thing. You have to understand something. If you don't have a family, there's only one fucking place to turn, mm -hmm. big daddy fucking government. And that's exactly what they want. Why are women paid more money if there's no men in the house? It's an incentive to break up yeah. the family. That's all it is. You have to understand who you're dealing with. A These welfare people state. are sick in the fucking head mm -hmm. and they think ahead. Everything is chess to them. They fucking have planned this out for decades. Crack cocaine in the LA in the 1980s. 80s, that yeah. was meant to take black men out. Mm -hmm. They want to take the black men out of the fucking family. They've been working on that the for a while. The welfare state was their greatest game plan. Yeah, I agree. Like, I yeah. agree. Lyndon uh, uh, B. Johnson with his fucking, you know, as soon as they fucking uh, uh, put a bullet in Kennedy, uh, they rescinded Executive Order 11110, which was signed 6-4-1964, which is an 11 day. And they basically uh, rescinded the Federal Reserve's right to print currency. The day John oh. F. Kennedy was fucking killed, they fucking rescinded that If order. I go back in American history and just keep hitting the 11th day and checking which executive orders, it's oh, always that, the that, big ones? Yeah, but that's, oh, yeah. That, that's the big one. I think executive order, and again, you guys listening can check. One, executive order 11110. So Kennedy waited until he had that 1111 to use that executive order to go after the Fed. They couldn't print money 
for basically six months and they put a bull to him on 11 22 1963 right by a uh, fruit masonic lodge i think we should talk about how like, oh, wait, wait, wait you're saying for the feminism thing a lot of people say it's a depopulation thing to take care of the fam, take out the family. I think, that, I think, that's I think it's a, just sure. an attack on masculinity. No, no. I think that, bro, but they don't want people to start a revolution. They're they gonna don't. break the family. Yes, but it, you it's, can't it, be a real that, man that, unless you have a son that, or a daughter. That, that, period. That's the cherry on top, bro. They already if they fucking take out the family, if they fucking make all these women. Oh yeah, wars, their will is broken. That's, that's, yes. that's a cherry on top. It yeah. comes with it. Sorry. But, uh, Sorry. Think about it. they're taking love away from society. If you make women no longer attracted to men and men no longer attracted to women, there's no like benefit to becoming a high value man because you look out at society and there's no wives that you want a wife. So it, it removes your motivation for things like men. We only really want money and status to get higher quality women. And if those women out there don't exist, it's like men are becoming lazy and they're turning to porn and video games because those worlds are just better and they give that instant gratification versus they're like they look at men in the top one percent, there's like there's no way. It's like those dudes are kind of born with charisma or born with intellect. But I think one of the things I've learned in life, like you can learn from people and take their knowledge and then learn your own way to interpret it. And if you truly Other live your life... Other people are catalysts, then. Yeah, but I, where I'm going is, I feel like all knowledge comes from God. Like, there is no new knowledge out there. It's just we are tapping into different, you know, levels people of awareness. People rediscover knowledge, though. There's yeah. knowledge that was in the Babylonians days that I've personally discovered myself and no one mm -hmm. has before. You know, that, so that stuff is like, out there. That's like exactly what Carl Jung said, that human ideas, we don't create them. We just, you know, surf on them. Mm -hmm. That we draw from infinite pool and it's oceans easy. of subconscious and we pick these ideas and the idea can consume you like if you go maga you could be docs destroyed and in prison off one idea one spell you know the maga being a spell i, 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 I was there january 6th i just didn't go in i knew it was a trap i, I, had, I knew it was a trap i, I, had, I had vip this is a fed, bro. I, I, I get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you was a I, 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 so I, did I. I was the la I was at uh, Trump's last speech in Washington D.C. Uh, front row, and it was really cold that day. And I, and I heard that Alex Jones is marching on the Capitol, and I looked, and I'm like, okay, a whole bunch of people with flags. Zerka, when was the last time there was a successful revolution with people carrying flags and nothing else? Never. Yeah, absolutely never. So I, you know how I, I, knew, I saw that. I was like, you know what? You know how I knew it's a Time trap. To go to dinner. You know how I knew it's a trap when I was watching all the camera footage and it looked just like the Boston Marathon. <laughs> and I was seeing all the people on the roofs. I'm like, oh, these Trumpers are good. And it's not like I can call them and tell them they're not going to listen. No, you said, so they, like, they got set up for a loss. Yeah. It, it, what the one thing that disappointed me about Trump was. He didn't even attempt to pardon them, didn't attempt to do anything. That was very disappointing. Just like yeah. Trump disappointed me with his support of the that was very Your disappointing. Base is fuck for that was that. very disappointing. Yeah. That's Listen, I, I supported the man in, in two sixteen, two nineteen. I helped the man win Ohio in two sixteen. Flat the fuck out. So when it comes down to it, I know you know, I fucking told Trump he'd be president in his face on October twenty second, two sixteen in Cleveland, Ohio. I said, You will be the next president because of numerology and astrology. He looked at me and laughed. I did not believe he ever thought he was gonna win. Barack Obama made sure yeah, that this is the black pill right here. Orange. How many no no no, this is the black pill, what you just said. How many of the left wing and the liberal political operatives sprung out their guys out of jail? Every BLM guy got sprung out. Our guys, nobody. We didn't do. We have been. Have you ever heard of someone in the Obama administration getting locked up? Eric Holder defied Congress. He he fucking didn't go for a subpoena. Nothing happened to him. That's why people love Obama. He protects his own people. He has a deep enough pockets to protect his own people. I had Malik here two weeks ago. He was basically telling me everything that was going on in Obama. This guy's a slick dude. A slick ass dude. And I gotta tell you, you ever remember the song by Michael Jackson, Smooth Criminal? Every time I listen to that, I'm thinking about Obama and how much money he's taking from Ukraine and how much money he has coming in from here. But I why mean, do you think Trump actually didn't do anything for J6? Or didn't well, do he, much? He, he actually didn't do anything. He, he, oh, no, but why do you think, is, is it like he's afraid? I don't of think he gives a fuck. I don't think he cares. I really don't. I mean, listen. I know the people who are around Trump. For God's sake, he put a, a CCP asset in his goddamn cabinet. 
uh, the, uh, uh, Mitch McConnell's wife is a C- CP asset. He had her as a transportation secretary. And what's wrong with the CCP? <laughs> You're a communist now? You no, know, I don't fuck with... Dude, as a Catholic, fuck communists, right? That's an attack on Christ. Uh, and this is the only part that won't be going on TikTok. But hey, CCP... <laughs> <laughs> CCP, CCP is the people who said you can't be gay here. It, listen, it, listen, you can find some things in every civilization that you like. You know, they are, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, the Chinese are kind of soulless, bro. They run. You know, if the Chinese dude runs you over in China, they go the fuck. You know, you know they go what the fuck was that? And they keep driving. Like they don't, they you know, don't care if they kill someone. Dude, no manslaughter. Like I don't think they I actually that. know. I speak Chinese, Mandarin. Oh, all you gotta do is like start making noises and get loud. What that black And all of a sudden, people think you're speaking Chinese. It works every time. Me how, nigga? Gary, the thing that blew my mind, and I think he'd like this with all his black magic stuff, is the Obama we can thing. You, you. Oh yes, yeah, we yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? Yes, we can was uh basically a little witchcraft. Is there something called Wiccan? So yes, we can is. Yes, Wiccan. So it was a little spell he put on everybody. Oh, shit. I didn't know this one. Yeah. It was, what about it was Maga? Dude. They say that's like a Hebrew spell? I wouldn't go that far, man. Dude, you're yeah. the best, bro. You will not turn on Trump. There's what so many mean? people who turn. What you do you will mean? never turn on Trump. I need mean? guys like this. I just said the motherfucker fuck is the father of the... Okay, then, okay, now you're betraying our movement. You oh, gotta yeah, stop. Really? I hate when... What? Trump that's is the only thing we gather around. He's the lesser evil. Yeah, I hate what we're, we're never attacking Trump again, but he's uh, the lesser evil. That's yeah. that that's why great. Go kill you. Mm, yeah, <laughs> go yeah. kill yourself. Go get your boosters. Especially. Well, it's a boomer thing. He uh, did the not a boomer. He didn't know what the fuck. I don't think he ever took that. I think he yeah. took saline. He definitely didn't take <laughs> well, or that Regeneron so, so, Ivermectin. So I'm, I'm going to tell a story. I can't put out names, but there's uh, people who are very high up the food chain. Ben Shapiro. Shut up. <laughs> um, why? Because he's Jewish. Yeah. Uh, don't worry. We'll go after no, him. He's we'll, we'll, we'll go after him soon. Uh, everyone take his turn. Man. You know, Ben Shapiro would hate me more than you. Why you that? Jake you harder. I actually go into the Vatican with my content. You Jake you into Israel. He'd kill you before he kills what me. What do you mean? I'm his brother, man. Shalom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, man. You, you want to know how you betray your race as a Jew? I have blue eyes. No. <laughs> My eyes are green. Yeah. Okay. That's that's still white. Like a people. snake. Jews have how brown do, eyes. How how do Jews betray their own race? I don't know. Anything? Come on. I I'm, I yeah. have I have what? Wow. I'm, this might be a. I got kids to feed. This, this is a first time moment. He's silent. <laughs> Jews no. betray their race by being poor. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh shit, damn. Yeah, when I meet a poor Jew, I go, damn, you're like the Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> you're like the autistic of the group. Like, what happened, bro? I don't bro? think I could do this with anyone else but this man, man. <laughs> you ever meet a poor Jew and you feel extra sad? Like, can you be a comedian? No, you, I, I, what are you gonna do, bro? I actually don't feel bad because they have all the advantages of life. They have more intelligence, all that. <sighs> yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, you know, it's funny, though, in my experience, one on one conversations with rich Jews versus poor Jews. If you have a one on one conversation with a Jew, no cameras, nothing like that. They literally say to your face. Yeah, we run banking. But on podcasts, like, eh, I don't want to say that for my business stuff. I've had so many Jewish friends go, yeah, we run the game. What's up, mm-hmm. nigga? And I go, what the fuck? Say it on podcast. They go, no, bro. I don't want to look like you crazy on the internet. You can't hate on them for killing it. If you view life like a just competitive sport. Where no, you, we, we hate them for rejecting Christ. No, we don't hate them. We don't. We say we love everyone. This love speech. Except those black people are getting on my nerves. Stop. Stop. I'm just like 50% of the crime and you're like a minority group. 50%? Yeah, you gotta get it together, that, bro. That, that, that warrior gene, you've ex- you've explored that gene enough. This, this <laughs> isn't me. This isn't me. This is him, man. Shout out old block. I, 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 I'm basically <laughs> saying that's because they're raised by women. And really? Men. I'm saying it's their little pigment. Their skin cells tell them to make no. to, to fucking steal. Bro. Do you know why I've tweeted this too? Do you oh know? Yeah, let's go all the way. Hey, bro, this is fine. It's you, not you, like you, I'm talking you, about you, you Hebrew know what, Israelites. You know what? Black Hebrew Israelites. Let's talk, let's talk about that. You, you, you're, you're talking to blacks. I'm talking about Israel. Let's mix it up. Let's talk about the black okay. Israelites. Here's why black people rule the world. <laughs> Since when? Trust me, I'm going somewhere with this. Uganda? 
Who are the fastest sprinters and runners on earth? Blacks. Why can they not swim? Because it's much harder to steal a TV in the ocean. Oh, listen, but, listen, you're horrible. But, you're horrible. Wait, why can't they swim? I gotta know. Is there a bone density? Man. You'll never see you're in the Olympics horrible. a black dude swimming. Hey, on some hey, real, on some real you shit. You ever though? been to Detroit, man? I, listen, I don't think you bro. should ever show your face listen. there at a few other places, man. You might be it might be difficult for you, bro. Because of They're their really low might. IQ. They're gonna kill me. <laughs> I'm kidding. I need, I need some more content with you before that happens, man. I mean, this guy makes me look sane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's hard, bro. I'm usually all the fucked up one. No, I never one. go to Detroit or any like. Uh, you better not go now. No, no, no. no I actually <laughs> I drive around South Side Chicago. No, I swear. I, no, I drive. I'm smart, bro. I'm white. I drive around the black cities. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, on some real shit though, he's he's right because you cut the head off of the family unit, which is the man. And then you use fucking rap and all that shit to just inspire a culture that, like, I'm masculine. If I fuck everyone over, that is of my own, you know, race. It's like they just breed inner fighting through a bunch of fucking I, 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 I just want to say there's no black people on this panel and we're talking about black people. How do you think that works? Well, you know what? You know how you guys are uncomfortable is every day my content is with my black friends. Oh, I don't care. You don't have dude. black friends, so you, you guys can't do these jokes. Thirty percent of my uh, students are black. What are you talking about? Oh, no wonder you're offended. I'm not offended at all. <laughs> I'm just telling you. They're listening. To this, and they're like, who you is this? You have a thirty percent chance of getting robbed in the studio. No, no I'm kidding. never happened, man. Uh, I uh, make sure the people who get in my group uh, pass a non-disclosure, sign a non-disclosure. You know, I, I genuinely, uh, I don't believe all that, uh, those stats for black people and stuff as much. Because when black guys have Christ, they don't fuck around. The Jesse Lee Peterson, even a Muslim black guy I like Malcolm him, X. I, I want him here. Get that. David. You could get him. I want, I want Jesse Lee Peterson here. Man. Well, I you'd have to go to him. He's the old man. Is he? He's not going to. Just like. Maybe we should try to get some like the old that, that, express here. He's racist. He actually doesn't like black people. He I'm sure. I'm he's, sure. But he says they need Christ to they be need Christ. fixed. Does that fix him? Not even God can fix them. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah they need Christ. <laughs> You're horrible. Yeah, yeah. Don't let me. Okay, next conspiracy. Uh, Chad, we're going to go into. Uh, what's a conspiracy? We have. 9-11. Who did 9-11? No, we, 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 we can talk really? about the Titanic. Strong. Did we have a dancing we can talk about party? The Titanic. Oh, yeah. The Titanic, Titanic was sunk. It was a torpedo. hit job. It was a hit job, the Titanic. Uh, basically, uh, Bankers? Well, yeah. Basically, uh, in, in 1912, there was a guy in America called Mr. Uster, and he owned... Is this four, Jekyll Island, niggas? Yeah, but this is 1913. We're yeah, in 1912. So, you yeah, took yeah. me a little bit ahead. Let okay, me tell you the right, story. Right. So, in 1912, you had uh, the, this guy named Mr. Uster. He owned 40% of all the mortgages in the America. Could you imagine a gangster... <laughs> Who owns forty percent? Even Chase was that Italian guy, right? Uh, I think he was. He yeah. was. Might have been, but it, even Chase, I think, owns like ten percent. This guy owned forty in nineteen twelve. So the Illuminati wanted to basically create, uh, uh, basically, a Federal Reserve. Uh, they couldn't do it because this guy Uster was paying off politicians to be against it because he was making too much money. So they made sure to create this chip. And they put everyone, all the rich people were supposed to be on the ship. The Morgans, the Rothschilds, all the richest people in the world were supposed to be on the ship. At the last seconds, the Morgans and all the Rothschilds got off the boat. Mr. Uster fucking died on the boat. Uh, all of a sudden, all the money that was going to the opposing politicians dried up. By 1913, here's where Jekyll Island comes in. They signed the Federal Reserve. Now, in, uh, after they signed the Federal Reserve, they have the money they need to start World War One. Well, and, explain and to them, go. Federal Reserve, for the Zoomers, there are a lot of young people who watch this stuff. You don't know Pretty what much the Fed it, is. It, here's what it is. Your people right? don't know what the Fed is? I don't got no Jews in there. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. Yo, here's what it is. They give you $5, and they, here, you can have $5, mm -hmm. and then you go, but pay me back. And you go, where do I get enough? Where do I get the money to pay you back? I go, here's five, but you owe me 10. And then that's what it really is. It's like the most evil system. But the Federal Reserve, no one links this, is World War One and Two. It's literally made. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. But I don't even know what I'm saying. So the, you have to fill, the, fill so, in this so, part. So, so basically the Fed was used because they need the money to start the wars. And without the central bank, they wouldn't have the money to actually start the wars. So that's how it worked. Titanic, uh, get the Fed. World War One, and then World War One led directly to World War Two because it's the same World, war, really. In in a sense, uh, the Germans got a bad deal, and because the Treaty of Versailles is like made. 
Yeah. Yeah. The Germans got a really bad deal. And World War One ended on 11-11 at exactly 11 o'clock. So these motherfuckers are still firing bullets at each other mm-hmm. at 10.55. But 11, it stopped. So basically, if you understand what numerology means, just like 9-11, you're not going to have peace under the number 11. So they made sure to do it at 11, 11, at exactly 11 o'clock to make sure there would never be peace. And around two decades later, World War II starts, Hitler fucking tanks. You blow in my mind, this even at works. 11 o'clock? I mean, yeah. I mean, listen, most people, if you ask them if they have any sense of spirituality whatsoever, they see 11, 11 on the clock at least once a week. You know, most people see stuff like that. That basically mm-hmm. means your vibration is spinning at a much higher plane so people can actually, you know, tap into that consciousness. What is today? Today is the 11th, and this is a perfect day to do stuff like this. You see why all these people are getting emotional? Because it's the 11th. See all oh, these shit. people in the chat Wait, room. Wait, did you do that on purpose? Right? Of course. Of course. See, well, I mean, we're supposed to meet up yesterday, though. And that's why we're flowing so good. Mm-hmm. We're supposed to meet up yesterday, so mm-hmm. I, I I figured it would be either oh, yesterday yeah, we or today. But today is even better because today is the eleventh. Uh, this is when you hit people. This is when you because people are going to be emotionally charged today. You always do stuff on the fucking eleventh, man. Talk about the uh, lunatic and moon shit. Well, fuck. Whenever it's a full moon, people get fucking crazy. Yeah, uh, you know. This is a this is it's a, like case. a full charge. This is a case where the astrologers were ahead of the fucking scientists uh, for 500, 600 years. Astrologers said whenever it's a full moon, people get crazy. The scientists only caught up about 70, 60 years ago because they figured out the moon pulls on the tides. Well, me, you, all these people here, we're 70 fucking percent water. So when it's a full moon, it's going to pull on us. And some people in that case get more emotional. So that's why, especially if you're a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio, don't do much under a full moon. You might fucking fuck the wrong person and get pregnant. You know, not not what you should be doing, man. That, you know, there's certain times you're supposed to lay low. Wait, if you master this numerology, you could fuck a bitch raw with no condom and predict she will not get pregnant? Could you do, I mean, could you, I mean, I mean don't she, try I mean, this if the home. bitch is on her period, yeah. You don't need a numerologist for that, pit. Okay, that's, 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 <laughs> if you're willing to get a little bloody. Why would anyone fuck someone on a period? You do hey, that. Hey, you, brother, I don't know anything about that. I'm yeah, just giving you options. Who, if you run red lights, that's a satanic ritual. But I read somewhere that why women bleed. I don't believe this, but. Do you trust anything that bleeds and doesn't die? The who? Do you trust anything that bleeds and doesn't die? <laughs> That's a vampire. <laughs> Yo, hold on. They, That's they, a they, def- they definitely suck on our emotions and our wallets, but you know, it is what it is. Love you, baby. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> I read somewhere that why they bleed once a month is the man has to ingest it like adrenochrome mm-hmm. to be revitalized. What is adrenochrome? Go. <laughs> uh, got me. Go ahead. You what the fuck? You just talked about Pizza Gate. I'll refresh your memory. What is it? Uh, they they drive up the adrenaline in children because when you get old, if you drink blood, it's like stem cells. Like it rejuvenates your fucking no, body. I, I knew what you're talking. A terrorized about. Just, child just, just and the, yeah. by name, yeah. It's the same reason they terrorize society. It's, it's the same. It's off the same of reason they charge. fucking terrorize these animals when they kill them. Mm-hmm. Is this the fucking, Mayan ritual and they, and they, with the heart? And, right? And they infect the fucking meat mm-hmm. with fear. Yes. 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 So, yes. Yeah. 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 That's so when you I, kill an animal, it's best when they don't see the blade coming. If they see the blade coming, they have fear and it affects the fucking meat and then and you, you get anxious get eating it yeah. you get couldn't even get it, cancer from it your emotions are chemicals in the body like when you think a bad thought it tells the body hey go create dopamine serotonin or whatever mm-hmm. create a negative emotion or a positive emotion so if all these animals are super scared they're dumping all these chemicals into the meat and then you're eating that and then you're feeling like all that shit so like if you're being pushed to go towards spirituality like eat lighter than like foods like Fruits and green shit because that shit grows closer to the sun. Vegetarian? Not full vet. You still need meat, but like you need it slaughtered by a farm or something. But like the fruits and the green shit grows closer to the sun. It gets more light. It has a higher vibration. So when you eat that, you can up your consciousness in vibration just based off what you're putting into your body. Like everything's input output, and you're supposed to eat from nature. That's how God intended it. So like. If you're not eating within nature or eating after a kill when the meat is fresh, then like you're just stuffing your body with low frequency and now your consciousness is stuck in that level of vibration. 
It doesn't matter how hard you try in life, how much money you get, how many women, you cannot go beyond your state of vibration. You are operating within a paradigm that is the matrix. The matrix is mental, it's your mind. Andrew Tate says the matrix is outside of you, it's not, it's all mental. All of reality is a projection of your mind. Wow, he's You're, spitting. How, how you think keep he did? going, what the fuck? He spit pretty keep well, going. man. If you flow, keep going. Well, Matrix, I, I, keep going. Come on, you gotta keep going. That's the point. You can, put me, you can put him in a room for 30 minutes, he'll talk nonstop. You can do the same thing with me. Well, Let's go, brother. I'll send it back to the marijuana. If you smoke weed, you'll forget what you talked about five seconds ago. But it will help you channel higher consciousness. Like, I think we talked about like weed's kind of like a psychedelic. Like, it's a plant. Think of a plant as a living thing. It's conscious. When you smoke weed, the reason you're getting deeper thoughts and higher knowledge is because you're smoking the earth. You're smoking a, you know, the vibration of earth. You're getting in tune with the vibration of earth. And it's bringing you back line to base consciousness, to higher consciousness, Christ consciousness. Think, think of God and Christ lives within you. Half the time you think you're thinking, you're actually listening to Christ. The way God and Christ talks to you is through your own voice inside your head. You need to learn how to shut up and channel that inner <laughs> voice. I, learn what, to shut up. Not be quiet, but yeah. shut up. Huh? If people in there say you're a vegan. Vegan? No. I, I, I love... Uh, actually, I don't want to phrase it the way I was just going to phrase know, it. Let me tell you something. Let so me I just love go, meat. Let yeah. me just go back on a couple of things you said. <laughs> Number one, fruits and vegetables, they're great. The problem is mm. most of these fruits and vegetables are being watered with yeah. uh, fluoride. So it doesn't matter if you fucking eat them, you still can get fucking that pineal gland that, that's decalcified. The, that's the big problem. So that's why I stopped being a vegetarian or that fruit and dairy and whatever, mm. because the, wa the plants you eat are still fucking watered by fucking poison. Mm. So it really doesn't well, matter. I mean, it that's the big like where nihilism comes from is when you realize you're in the u.s there's no fighting like you got chemtrails over you all day you got 5g and you're you can't get good food or food you can make anywhere. that bag you can get back and then you can get out of the u.s you can make that bag though that's right we're not leaving the u.s fuck that but you, you said penile gland and a lot of people don't understand this Dude, people who worked in the Treasury, Federal Reserve, all movers and shakers in Masonic literature, they say that's the seat of the soul. So right They here. write about it and they say right it here. fires identical mm -hmm. with the same genetic makeup as a firefly. You know a firefly glows? Apparently you can tap into that and make it glow. Go, go but it's a Luciferian type of you know, go thing, to the Vatican, you'll see um, basically the pineal the pine gland cone. right there. They, the they have statues and stuff. So basically, if your pineal gland is not decalc is is not calcified, all the things you think of, telekinesis, transportation, uh, anything you can think of, you can do, and that's why the elite have to make sure that all of these foods are basically uh, damaging our pineal gland. They don't want supermen. They don't want people with super ability. They want to keep us dumb. And, you know, I, I got to tell you something. Do you really think these people would be in positions of power if uh, we had our pineal glands working at 100%? Mm -mm. They couldn't control us. They literally couldn't control us. So, again, they, they, they use low-frequency music. They fucking make people fuck whores. The 433 hertz? It's all hertz? garbage. 433 hertz? Or what was, which one was it? Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of them. Yeah. Five, eat different. Five, five, 528 is yeah. a pretty good one. I like that for sleep. Mm -hmm. They'll induce different states of consciousness. And you can use sound to heal. That's a big medical industry yes. shit. Oh, yeah, that's so buried. You can all, use sound. All pills, yes. all that medication. You should not take they, any Didn't they kill some cancers Earth. with some fucking vibrating machine? Did, didn't, yeah. You, that, it Literally, the vibrations can just make the cell burst. Like the bad stuff. And this is illegal. You can't even find this on Google anymore. I right? mean, there's still, you can well, use I it. I mean, there's a lot of people who make a lot of money. You'll never see it on sick. Ellen Degenerate. You'll never but see it on they, TV. That they, they create sicknesses and then sell you pills that just keep the <clears throat> sickness suppressed. Like, everything is orchestrated to get money out of you. And it's scary. A lot of people don't realize so that, like, this cash the, rules everything around this me. Is, this is the best content ever. One in the chat if this is the best content ever. And, yo... From the stuff I researched, the de how to deepen your conscious soul or mind, or like let's say penile or whatever, pineal gland. Pine, yeah, I can't say it, but uh, pine cone. Pine Apparently, cone. the deep the the number the, Zirka, uh, the number the three Zirka things you can system, do pine cones. <laughs> the number three things you can do. One was fast until you're literally dying. Apparently, that reverses in uh, freezes aging, right? So fasting is the number one thing you can do for your soul, your conscious brain, your male side of the brain, right, that you need to focus on. The next one 
was uh, actually uh, getting sun, so much sun while napping close, with close, your wife, close, with your love partner. You have to nap eyes, with her. Close your eyes and look at the sun while you're in water. That yeah. helps. And uh, then, and for the fruit one, it was like, first of all, if you Google what a real banana looks like, there's very yeah, few. Yeah, like this shit here. Yeah, these are not real bananas. So I we, didn't know what real fruit was, so I went to Russia. They fucking raspberries, like uh, this big. All of them, the strawberries, this big. Yeah. Everything's smaller over there. And then you find out everything here is on steroids. And, and when you eat these real foods, you never experience bloat or any of that weird yes. stomach stuff. Yes. And you take magical shit. You don't get sick either. You, bro, you take the cleanest shits. It's like, it's like, what the fuck, right? You know, I, my girlfriend would wipe my ass twice when I would eat real fruits. Here, you were eating some bananas this big, right? Like they're fucking you fake. You have a girlfriend, Zerka? No, I don't have a girlfriend. I have to yeah, yeah, play that back. Team. I think, One girl at a time. I'm not these gay red pill guys. If you have a hundred girls, you're a homosexual. You, you know what my dad told me? My dad said any dude who's a player is a homosexual. Why? Because he's addicted to deviancy. He's not doing it for multiple women. A real man has one. That's how it's always been. Okay. And, and it's in the Bible too, yeah. All right, I think we should put this on the podcast. So, like, I think you and me, I want to keep attacking Red Pill. I hate these fucking hey, players. Who's the, who's, who's the guy you hate most on Red Pill? Well, you showed me. I forgot his name now, but uh, you traumatized uh, me. Uh, uh, I like him. I like him. He had good stats, and now yeah, yeah, this is what his girl completely destroyed him. It was Let's worse see. than how you made it sound. The clip was worse. Waller is a pretty big joke. He has no charisma. Let's see who else is big in that community. It always comes down to temperament. Like this guy will smoke mm -hmm. weed, but he's always angry. Oh Waller is never angry. What's Sartain? Never angry. Men who are not angry literally get whipped by their wives. Us, never. bro, we'll go live and beat up our wife. No, I'm no, kidding. No, 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 I'm no, no, kidding. No, it's a joke. Never it's a joke. Never that. Right? Maybe get a time you machine, can, go to 1950. You, you, I'm you kidding. You can go into Russia and whoop, whoop, whoop a woman's ass, hey. but not here. You know, I have always said to every girl I dated, I go, I'm not hit a woman but i need to know that if i ever strike you would you call the cops and she, i just want to know that's all i want to know and i'm like put a lie detector on me you can't find me say i've hit a woman in my life but i want to know and then from behind i'm sorry i'm sorry you put it out there too quick bro that's illegal in mma bro i'm kidding yeah You're right but no i'm serious it's like when you guys get in the dating world and stuff like that if you Yo, hell hath no fury like a woman scorn. If you make her jealous, she's going to call you a rapist. You're going to prison forever. Mm, yep. And that's why one of the biggest problems in society is when women fucking just make false charges. Mm -hmm. And then all the after they find out the f charges are false, nothing happens to the woman. Yeah. There's no accountability. There's no arrows. There's absolutely no accountability. There has to be I, I think there has to be a law. A precedence has to be set that if a man was going to get five years for a fucking rape he didn't commit, when the bitch fucking basically evidence comes to she, she made raped all this his shit, mind, he's traumatized she for five life. years. She gets five years. No, she gets ten. Mm. She's a woman. Stop. Women, it, it, <laughs> women will go the farthest for revenge, a lot farther than men. Oh, oh yeah, people think I'm vindictive, man. They have no idea how women are, bro. It, it's scary. Like, Actually, like when I you said, when you look at men and women fighting on the street, their own gender. You know, when a man gets the top position, he actually stops punching the other man. As mercy. If a woman's on top of another woman, she'll never stop punching that bitch in the face. It's like an animal. It's chaotic. Yeah. yeah. Um, when women are emotional over a relationship, there, there's nothing. There's yeah. nothing you can tell them. There's nothing mm -hmm. you can do, man. Also, it's gay if you're trying to make your girl, like, actually lose her mind water. being jealous guys do that that's just gay water. bro like make her jealous to get her pussy wet but don't actually make her lose her mind if you're a player you're a homosexual you're not a part of my movement go back to red pill where your wife is telling you to shut the fuck up on podcasts and you go like this <laughs> hey Zerka, let's talk about bro, that was the one time he should have broke the law if you know what i mean he, to save he, his he, brand he should have said something i can't believe he did it. that that's pathetic man <laughs> I mean, I didn't say hit the, the, the woman, but that's God, the one time you should go to prison when it's live, when she doesn't do. Hey, like, imagine kidding. if he did something when it, 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 yeah. it, his but, fucking, if it, his it, fucking. Imagine if he, he gets rich, it, he would be the biggest. He's like the red pill god. He would be the god. <laughs> Rollo would step aside yeah. because start taking. Like, yeah. this we would all bow to him. We all. Hey, 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 hey. People think you're bowing to Tate right now. Yeah. He would be the new Tate. <laughs> that was his advantage to actually yeah. do something, and yeah. he fucking blew it. Like, I'm really about this. 
<laughs> I bought that life. He's like, fucking, see, that's when you opens up the Hustlers University, right? From prison. <laughs> no, but you know what's crazy, though? You can tell he eats pussy. <laughs> You don't need pussy, thank God. Yeah, we need to talk about I that. I don't even have friends who do that. We need, hey, Zerk, I Base. feel like that's why we lie. Your, that some friends are lying to you. It's more popular than, it's more common. Know, they, no, they, they're usually Libras. Libras really love going down. What do you mean? Well, Michael Douglas was a Libra, and Libras, he was married to Catherine Zeta Jones. So basically, when some guys go down, and again, if the woman's clean, this has nothing to do with them. But if you're a whore like most women are, you're going down on oh. them, there's a chance you're going to get throat cancer. Because that's what happens when guys go down on really? dirty ass hoes. Yeah, dude. If a bitch has been with Bro. more than two people, you better never go down on them. You hear that, chat? Now it's cancer. Stop eating pussy. Women will cheat on you if you eat them out. Just You're not going to believe that at first, but go test it and see if Look, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. If you're a high-value rich dude who is red pill, so his wife does not leave his house. Where all red pill guys, their wives are social media stars. Wait a second. She she actually has her own Twitter page. No, so, but yeah, she yeah. leaves her house to go to fucking clubs and bars like the red pill guys. Never. No. That's My girl can go illegal. to a club or a bar to get drunk. Never, dude. She's out there. Would you divorce she, her like that? She would never do that. Yeah. It, it's not even, it, it's like that would never even come up. You know, it's like me when I said... Wait, was it instinctive for her or you have to train her? No, she came from a Muslim background. Okay, there it is. She's very respectful when it comes to men. I, again, I would never marry an American whore. They're all the fucking disgusting. I think the only uh, decent women are in my group, GG33. You know? And again, if, if you're not a whore, I'm not talking to you, or am I? So what the fuck are you getting mad at? No, it is a whore. I respect women. I, I respect women. I, I don't. You gotta get hold on. If there's a good woman who's faithful to her man, you ain't gonna respect her. Find her, my wife. No, no, no. For me, find okay. someone. All right. yeah. Go find so one yeah. woman that. Can right. eat. Prove it. This guy, if we took him out, he'd be he, like, "You guys are in Sodom and Gomorrah." Yeah. Like, you yeah, would no, fucking I'm cry cool. for I'm us. Cool, You'd be bro. mind blown. Like it's not just girls inside bars too. Like it's everywhere. What do you guys think? The same shit then go on like 15, no, 20 years the ago. Social media and technology mm -hmm. has accelerated like nothing. No, uh, Marky, we appreciate the five gifted. Listen, listen. I remember when I was really fucking red pill for the first time. Um, it was about 1996. We uh, was after a high school football game. My team won. We're all celebrating. All of a sudden, I see a uh, whole like two captains of the football team fighting. Mm. I'm like, what the fuck they're fighting for? And then behind them, I see a fucking line. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? They were actually fighting who gets their, you know, run the train first and the girl in the bedroom. So that's what, what they were fucking oh, fighting over. Fuck. So they basically had a line of six people. They're like, yo, Gary, you want next? I'm like, get the bro, fuck out of here. Those type of men. Sick, 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 fuck. I've seen it all, bro. Those type of men ruin society. Like, I feel like the beta male Choo -choo. Will, will do anything to get laid. So they virtue signal. Like, they support feminism. And all the promiscuity what shit. Because it's the only way what they can get bitch. laid. You imagine a lion. That. Imagine a lion fucking grabbing that gazelle and going, Hey, hey, male lion, you want to share this? That got to be the <laughs> gayest fucking shit I've ever seen in my life. If you ever ran a train on a woman with your best friend, you maintained an ejaculated stiffness and arousal while a dude is uh, uh, in the same yeah. room with you. He's fucking... Bro, it's I lose attraction disgusting. for a girl if she looks at like another guy. Most, like, I don't understand. Most how. guys his age would do it. Most guys his age. All right, we got the merch. We got the merch. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing his <laughs> shit like this and this. Oh, what's that? It's been but beat up enough. He's twenty five. Most guys your age, if she's hot enough, they'll share the woman. Disgusting. Oh, you destiny. Oh no, no. He. I don't. Does he have threesomes? I don't know. His, is he actually married? You're friends with him. Well, he, he, this is what he does. His wife goes to fuck a dude, and he goes to fuck a woman, and they schedule it so they both leave at 6 p.m. So it's like it's she not like he's watching. She can't love you if she can go fuck I other can't, dudes. There's no way a woman can love you if she's fucking other guys. Mm -hmm. There's no way she can use you for clout money, high destiny, and she can do stuff like that, but she does not fucking love you. Mm -hmm. There's no way a woman's going to allow another guy to penetrate you if she loves another man. The Come reason, on, man. The reason guys fall for that, too, is they've never brought real love out of a woman. So they don't even know what it fucking looks like. So they just fall for, you know, a woman using them as a fucking resource. Sip. 
I mean, so, it's it's so easy to know if you're doing something correct with a woman. They literally change all of the rules if they like the guy. For example, if Drake says don't go out, stay here in the kitchen and make a casserole, bitch, they literally do it with a smile on their face. That means you're not Drake in their life. My first girlfriend, uh, the last couple of years, I, I haven't dated since 2016. I tried an e-girl for fun, like blah, blah. She didn't come for a month. And she's like, nigga, what the fuck? You're never making me come. You just come and you leave, right? I just bust inside, I leave. And she's like, what the fuck? Look at you. Yeah, you know, but it's hotter to me like that. I'm, I, I hate women. And so check this out. Check this out. Uh, no, modern women. I love people. Okay. Our mom's age, I okay. love those people. Okay. I'll fight to the death tooth and nail for those people. But check this out. You I don't like whores, right? Yeah, gotcha. but uh, um, which are women nowadays? Modern women, whores. This is synonymous. It's synonyms, bro. <laughs> right? This is the thesaurus over here. But look at this. What was I saying? You don't even smoke weed, bro. Yeah, no, what was I saying? No, 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 no. I don't want to use this one. I remember everything. This guy's right, like right, losing right. it. So I, I thought I didn't think she'd stick with me. So I'm like, oh, now I have to make her come because she's actually my girlfriend. She's sticking around. But do you know they don't cheat? They do everything you told them. I locked her in a basement for yo, a yo, year. Yo, 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 don't incriminate yourself. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I didn't. Guy, I told her from my country. You just you, saw what happened to Tate. Don't incriminate yourself, brother. No, I didn't lock her. I just said you can't go out. And she's like, what do I do? I'm like, chill in your basement and wait for me to take you on vacations, right? So anyways, she didn't go out for a year. They change the rules if they like you. So Destiny can easily say no more men to Melina. You think she'll leave? 100%. She'll stay. 100%. She's not going to get a better guy than Destiny. That's the highest value she can get. You really think so? Oh, dude, for influence, I, money, I, I, network. I, I bet you, I bet you, if there is a guy she really liked, she could find someone and she'd be faithful to him. But mm -hmm. the bond and the, her history, like, it's too, it's too Destiny. She but can't like leave the world. She can't leave the DGG you, world. You know, you know, when it comes down to it, sometimes you see uh, WWF guys come up as a tag team. Stone when Cold, they Steve Austin. When they break up, they become even bigger stars. Okay. So I, I, I would actually encourage Melina and Destiny to actually break up. <laughs> even if it's bullshit, just break up and get like... But would a high-value male say, oh, Melina, you're into open relationships? I don't think they date her. Bro, no, that's dude. like a guy like me saying I, like... I, I wouldn't even fucking touch her. Bro, I heard I you give say, her a fucking hug. This, 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 yeah, this is disgusting. my friend too. Melina, hey, I don't hey, like hey, Destiny. Hey, my hey, Melina's hey, my friend. Hey, hey, listen, listen. Melina, I, I think you did a great job. I'll give you out. two hugs, I, Melina. I, I think you got, did a great job pimping out Destiny. I think you did a great job fucking working that guy over for all the clout he had. Congratulations, you're an intelligent woman. But uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, you, you're definitely a train. Wow. And uh, hello, Melina. All right, it's your friend, John. Hey. The funniest or the best thing I've it's ever heard. It's my uncle. He's a racist KKK guy, right? He hates the Jews. He's a total mess. Right? Yeah, okay. The best thing I've heard you say, Zerka, was don't be your boyfriend, be your dad. And like a lot of dudes can't process that type of. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that. Like the framework of a girl. She sees you as an equal. It's not so happening. So you go to Muslim nations. Hey, man, as long as you're not um, doing certain things there, everything's good. No, but, but, but you know, I got to smoke weed, so I can't go to Dubai. But then well, again, they have hash. And, yeah, and, 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 but there's some people in Dubai who said they can actually get me some weed. Oh, they're degenerates there, too. So, yeah, man, ch sure. Check this out. Better not be trash, though. I can't fucking smoke trash. You smoke some strong shit. You I know. know, bro. But you know, you still stay fine tuned. Like, I see you. Have you, you ever seen anyone else do that? Yeah. Just smoke fucking constantly and yeah. still fucking be in the game. Was it a Cocoa Buff? No. You know what a cocoa puff is? I don't do that shit. So when you sprinkle cocaine on the fucking joint, that, that, that's your, that's your <laughs> that's deal. Crap. Right? That's your deal, bro. Don't do that. But uh, yeah, you got energy somehow from that. Is it Steve, Sativa? Yeah. Weed is gay. Don't smoke weed, okay? Unless you're gonna be this. If you're gonna be this anti-Semitic, racist, and sexist, smoking uh, uh, weed, okay, then okay. you got good hey, weed. Okay. Let me let me explain this. <laughs> if you're a dumb son of a bitch and your IQ is under ninety, do not smoke. No. What, okay? what about the hey, temperament? Hey, hold on, hold on, Talk about your temperament, bro. Some soft people that's are right, smoking that's, that's, weed. That's you have anger issues. You try to throw this kid off the balcony. If you're an angry guy, you can smoke a bit. But if you're a soft little vegan cuck and you smoke weed, that's the worst advice he's ever given you. Listen, like, listen. Hey, guys, I'm going to get more introspective. Hey, it it, it, it. If, if, fucking line with Zerka. if you're a low IQ, don't smoke. But then again, a low IQ shouldn't have kids either. But that ain't stopping them. Actually, I've said if you eat banned contraceptives, who takes contraceptives? Smart people. Dumb people just fuck with no condom. 
If you I've banned been, contraceptives, I've been, I've been, smart people would get pregnant more and you'd equal it up. I've been fucking raw for 20 years, bro. Learn, that, learn how to pull out, bro. How do you have one kid then? Two. Two. You fucked twice in 20 years? No, no I fucked like about an hour a day. For, Holy shit, that's I a mean, ritual, bro. Hey, that's meditation. brother, listen, you got a woman like mine, you gotta fucking make sure she's happy. Every day you fuck? Every day. Oh, bro, when I have a girlfriend, I fuck once a week. You're saying you fuck every day. I mean, no, that's not gonna work with a five life pad, bro. Are you like high libido? Man, listen, man, I take care of my business, man. It's the only Jew that doesn't have, that he's not in the porn business. Like, why do Jews own the porn business? Easy money. Mm. It's because they reject the ideas Christ. now. You getting ideas now, Zerka? <laughs> yeah, He's like, let me call a couple girls. No, we're going to, yo, guys, this is good news. We're going to have girls here. We're going to do a different style podcast. But when we're mad at the girls, we're going to call them Zionists. <laughs> and we're going to we're gonna do other types of content. But once a week, we should have this kind of. We'll do it once a week. Yeah. Uh, I've had uh, very few people who can roll with me. You can keep up, man. I like that in you, man. Yeah, and you, you kind of like. I thought you'd know as much as me when you impressed me. What are you talking but about? But you're kind of pushing it. Yeah, man. I think you do know more than me. I, I can't say it because i got to make money too. <laughs> <laughs> Show up, brother. Yeah, no, but yo, you were more on it. I had a panel with truthers and... Who? Who are these truthers you had the panel Myron with? and Nick Fuentes. What, Myron of you know Fresh and Fit? Yeah. What the fuck does he know He knows about everything about 9-11. Everybody. Oh, he does know everything about 9-11. Yeah. You call, keep calling me the Fed. Isn't he the one who works for the Feds? I mean, that's my boy. Fed, fed that's and my, Fit, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's my boy. Name. Make a shirt that way, man. man you know, so you're in Miami. Man. You should go out, go on. You'd get him banned. Yeah, you, yeah. you think so, man? Because you, since you're rich, he, you don't care he, about he, saying it. No, he actually says astrology and numerology is bullshit. He doesn't want to talk to people. With well, I said females. that until I saw who's texting him. Oh, when I saw the okay. people who text him, I'm like, yo, bro, you know I'm a Libra, right? I eat a lot of <laughs> pussy. <laughs> Oh God! Oh, it's not much names, brother. What, so what's a Pisces? Get, hit me. What's the uh, good Pisces, or bad? Pisces uh, open to like Seven Eleven. If you give them foot massages. What? You heard me. Se I work at Seven Eleven as an I said, Indian man. I, I said if you give a Pisces woman a foot massage, she'll be open to like Seven Eleven. Why? Because a lot of Pisces women tend to be whores, especially in America. Do I have to? Con is it is no, you, consensual you, 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 or can you, I grab you, the fuck? You, 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 you a Pisces bitch? Just no, grab no, her. No, no, you find out someone's a Pisces. Yo, yo, baby. But do I need consent to grab her? I, that's up to the woman. And that's depends up, on the state. Depends no, that's on the up country. To me, nigga. You know what okay. I'm saying? So again, you see a Pisces woman, you give her a foot massage. Mm. You see a, a, a Gemini woman, you rub her shoulders. See every spot. A woman. You see a Libra a dude, you knock him out. You see a Libra dude, <laughs> yeah. uh, I guess. You know, yeah, you're a Libra. I just think it's funny. He's taking like a new level. Is he a Libra? Like, find out I just guess. He's, he's a Capricorn, man. Oh, yeah. He doesn't eat pussy. What's Capricorn mean? Uh, Capricorn's top of the food chain. What are you? Capricorn. <laughs> it's just like so, a hey, You guys, you guys need the goat. The goat. The goat. Do time. you guys need some foot rubs? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what if I was an oh, undercover faggot? Time. Would <laughs> I be invited to the podcast? Probably not. <laughs> That's the Fed. Hey. What about, I'm, I'm bringing Milo for next one. You want Milo? Milo bring him. Yellenopolis. He had good content. He was funny, but he was gay. Um, He's an interesting fellow, man. Have you met him? I talked to him. <laughs> Have you met him? No, no, no. I okay. don't meet gay people. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Skype him. <laughs> you still use Skype? Oh no, my God, yeah, this is 2005? I'll, I'll Discord him, excuse me. Okay, Discord. What about Lauren Southern? Do you know her? Yes. You met her? No. Well, do you know everyone in the right? Are you? Uh, I know more politicians than actually. I just got in this game. Mm. You see, people didn't want me in this game, so I just basically kicked in the fucking door and said, I'm going to take it anyway. Talking about social media, not, yeah, pretty not much. Pretty now, much. for conspiracies, what do you think aliens are? Well, if you take alien as a word, you take the A off and you take the N off the N, it spells out lie. So I'm not really Based. sure I believe in most things. You got to look at Project Blue Beam when in about 10, 15 years, they're going to shoot Jesus' <laughs> face or Muhammad's face, tell him that's the savior, start you know putting in the the, the uh, 666 chip, stuff like that. I'm sure that's all going to happen. I think we have to worry about um, cryptocurrency because once that becomes a Fed coin, uh, they're going to go from taxing people to 5%, 10%, then they're just bringing up all the way to 75%. You won't be able to stop them. Bro, there's, there's a lot of people on our side that says crypto is like free and it's not controlled. Fucking morons. <laughs> there's always Bro. a backdoor. You have to understand the government is never going to allow 
people mm-hmm. to do things without a back door. Uh, fiat currency is coming to an end. The U.S. dollar supremacy is coming to an end with the via fiat currency. So the Fed's only position is to go into crypto, fucking yeah. dominate that whole game because mm-hmm. the Chinese technology wise are not ready to convert everything to the yuan. So I always, people, when, I hold on, let me finish. When people oh, think when people oh. think the yuan is going to replace the dollar, that's not the case because they have nowhere to fucking push it. They don't even have a fucking SWIFT system. So you can't yeah. actually move it. Fuck those Chinese, uh, Chai Coms, bro. They rule the world, the Chinese. But I was gonna say, the, after the gold standard. 1971, 1971 went off the gold standard. It was fiat currency. And after now that. after fiat, we have crypto. Uh, What's after crypto? crypto? Is it- crypto, I believe after crypto. Civil unrest. Uh, uh, I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna shut off the power. And when they have all crypto Cyber in about attack? 15, 20 years, when everyone's on crypto, they shut off the power. People can't get food. It'll be like bad for about 72 hours. They'll come back, turn on the power. They'll be like, okay, this crypto shit isn't good enough. Now mm-hmm. we need the mark of the beast. Now we need to start putting chips in people. So I think after crypto, they come to start going That's chips. the cyber attack yeah, you don't know? Yeah, that's one. And then they push us back into lockdowns permanently? Yeah, I'm not sure they'll do it with, but they'll fucking find well, it. The, the COVID war games prepared us for something. Yeah, yeah. We're going to bring it back. They're going to roll it back. What if there was Elon's Neuralink? Then it's just. No. no. They, they, why? Why can't it be? That, what, that, and the, the, the what if AI has been around longer than we think? Like AI can like recreate movies that look almost real, or like scenarios that look almost real. Like the government had technology fifty years ago, we're still getting now. Yeah, no, that's so, why it's scary. I mean, it think, is what it is. It's scary to think how advanced AI actually is, because like they only give the public shit after like okay, we've covered all our bases. Now listen, I, let's just hope Terminator doesn't happen. I feel like it's an edible, like an edible that we fucking because, merge uh, with. Because Zerka's comedy ain't gonna save us from a T two. What do you mean? I can't call it an N word and defeat it? It's like it's scary. Like, Nemesis, how right? serious is talking? I'll is just, old. I'll just load in the hard R's. Right, that comedy is gonna defeat everything. Mm-hmm. I think we, what we really need is a president who uses the hard R. Okay. That's I, I, free speech. I, I'll right? be running in a couple of months. We'll see if we can make that happen. Yeah. We'll I'm running if, we'll, on the F we'll, slur campaign. We'll, we'll, we'll see if we can have a, a place in Zerka, if not in my cabinet, but in the kitchen or something, bro. Because you're going to be pure comedy in there, bro. I have foreign dignitaries. Yo, Zerka. Go in there and tell these motherfuckers what you think about it. They're from Africa or Nigeria. <laughs> hey, we'll Would start you start fucking World War Three? You know those guys who like start yelling at AOC and stuff. You think AOC's a plan, right? I think she's a hot bitch who has no idea what the fuck she's doing. Yeah, you know, she <laughs> yelled it. As, as, as a matter of fact, AOC, if you're listening to me. I'm going to make this clear. I will give you half a million dollars to resign from Congress and I'll get you a modeling contract. And get the fuck out of there. Bend over. I'll, do I'll, whatever the fuck I'll, you do. Get the fuck out of Congress. I'll give you a better contract. Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll fuck the stupid out you. Okay. Is she cute? Yeah, yeah she, so, she's yeah. kind of fine, bro. She's kind of nice. Bro. Yeah, she's Latina. So, yeah, Latinas Latino are heat, top tier. Yeah, they're hot. What makes them so hot? They got, they, they got uh, that. Uh, they bro, got, you ever been called Poppy? No, but I call him. Oh, look at the fantasies coming out this way. Like, it's a smile. Obviously, you fuck a lot of these bitches. Yeah. Do you ever do the colonizer thing in your head where you're like, it's an inquisition and you're taking over the Latina's Bro. land yeah. and pussy? Yeah. Do you ever do racial race sex play? Like racial? Not for 20 years. Oh, me neither. Me neither. Bro, you, know like, what I've learned you never say, I like that spick pussy. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, Latinos love racism when they're about to come. Right? The only problem is I don't stop after. Zerka, you're gonna need bodyguards soon, man. Well, we, 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 we're we're gonna nah, need Mexicans bodyguards. aren't that big. I got them. Oh, you got them? Yeah. Okay, man. I, it's I, the I, blacks that are looking at me. You're gonna, hey, you're gonna bring peace between the fucking M13 and all the fucking Crips and Bloods. No, you don't know my game plan. No, when everyone wants to kill me, you don't know my game plan. That's literally when I walk out the synagogue and I go, Shalom, and literally. I make one billion dollars and I sign my life away to the Zios uh-huh. and I turn on you guys. I say I call you guys anti-Semitic uh-huh. and I call the fucking ADL. Yeah, I already said that like three times. Is this your Tom Cruise moment? That you've been this is a Fed, that? right? At the top, literally, I'm gonna be a fucking what do they call Turbo Zio? Turbo Zio. <laughs> right. I'm gonna be at the Wailing Wall. Master Have you ever been to Israel? No. You are the whitest person I've ever met. I'm never we should go Israel. for content. We're like, why are you fucking a rock? <laughs> hey, have you seen the fucking dude? What's beyond <laughs> the ice walls, Erica? Oh, are you a flat earther? 
Wakanda are you on the, the flood earth. Oh my god. Explain you, to, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is good. This is good. So explain to me how you can be here in say New York. You fly all the way over here from one direction, you get to Beijing. You fly all the way from a different direction, you get to Beijing. How is that possible if the earth is flat? Can you go round on a plate? Can I go around on a what? On a plate? Um, what does that have to do with airplanes going around and hitting the same mark? You're talking about like the reverse flying shit? Or what you, Your question is, how do you go around on a plate? No, 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 no. My question is, you have a point right here. This is New York City. Uh -huh. You go over here east, you hit Beijing. You go over here west... You hit Beijing. If the Earth is flat, how is it possible to go around in a 360 degree angle? And yes, you, you just uh, use an azimuthal equidistant map for GPS targeting. Every every airplane autopilot uh -huh. uses a flat Earth uh -huh. map. They don't mm -hmm. use your Fagin map, your globalist the, 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 map. The, 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 the pilots tell me the Earth is not flat. This is how you go. Most, but look at the Discord. There's 200,000 pilots in the Discord uh, that are flat earthers. This is how you go around. Uh -huh. There's your Beijing. Okay. You're, th are you f you're supposed to be smart. Uh -huh. This is how you go around. Okay. Do you, do you and now, now show me where is magnetic north? It's right here. There's no south pole on a compass. You circumnavigate east to west like Christopher you, you, Columbus. You, you, you. And then south will be 180 degrees away from north. A compass is a flat earth instrument. The biggest, most banned topic in algorithm history is flat Earth. In 2016, leaked by the Trump administration, so people don't under, don't trust the establishment and Clinton. You know what happens? Yo, you believe in Mars rover that sends magical space Wi-Fi from 100 million miles away? <laughs> CGI photos? Are you fucking retarded? You believe in Pluto? How about Planet X? Let's How about start, Planet X? X X X? How about the Milky let's start Way? Like this. Give me a fucking break. The CGI, CIA, they make fucking bets with the NSA to see what kind of fucking psyop they can come up you, with and. How how many fucking people they can get to fucking believe it? Congratulations, Zerka. You fell from one of them. People allegedly laughing their ass off. You believe you're on a spinning ball flying through. Yes, because CG time, time and gravity actually make sense. You can't have gravity without time. Time and gravity go hand in hand. So, yes, I do believe the Earth is spinning. All Mickelson Morley experiments to prove the Earth in, is in motion failed. Who, that, who, 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 who Einstein? Einstein said the Earth is an observable, motionless plane. See the World Economic Forum like logo is the flat Earth too. Yeah, and you mentioned yeah, the Georgia it, Guidestones. It has like, thirty three sections. I get it, dude. If you look but at it, there, it, this would always point to truth. I do not believe an the airplane is flat. does not use a Mercator. An airplane autopilot uses our ice wall map, the highest shoreline on Earth. It doesn't use your gay map. If you want to land your plane, that gay map. No, I'll use anything gay. You no in my house, brother. Everyone's everyone hates globalists, but will defend their globe. Isn't that I don't, crazy? I don't defend this my is oppressors. Ryan Dawson. I do this not, is I, I do not for, defend my oppressors. I am telling you, they put psyops out there to fucking try to pick pe trick people from the real knowledge. Where do you see curvature? What altitude did you see curvature? What altitude did you see curvature? Let's. Where's your listen, your god listen, of listen, fake curvature? Listen, is listen, it at one hundred twenty thousand feet in altitude? Listen, you Maybe. believe in you? You saw curvature I on know, a plane, I didn't know, you? I know that you have to have EricDubay.com space flat Earth time to basically spin. You have to have time to create gravity. Mm. That has to have a spinning motion. You believe in the theory of relativity? Yes. I feel no, like there I is no it's... Earth and it's, we're all just dreaming. Oh, it's here like, we where go. are Bro, you Two psyops right here. Yeah. These where, guys. Hey, where are you at? Oh, I, I think by the end of this Only theory, Nick Fuentes bit the bullet and oh, said, yeah, yeah, it is flat. Really? Only Nick. Bro, I will Only give Nick. you that. And, and, and it legitimizes the first page of Genesis. So for me, that, like, you. If you say that he, it's a globe, then you pretty much give way to the devil and that the firmament is real. What do you real. mean like, you give way to the devil if it's a globe? Where is this coming from? Because you, you're saying, saying the Bible's fake. We are it. the center of the universe is what the Bible says. You're, you're telling me says. the Bible is more real than the science that says the earth is spins and there's time and gravity going there, hand in but hand. There, the scientific method is on our well, side, tell not me yours. Why where, you where you there's six show, experiments show, to prove the earth is in motion. Show, they all fail. Show the fact that Jesus is real. Show the fact 500 that Jesus witnesses. Is real. Why do the where constellations? Hey, constellations never move. Exactly. All right, yeah, constellations have... They've been the same for thousands of years, but you say you're flying through infinite space, and look how they give infinity the attribute of God. 
the space, time, and matter. Like, what the fuck? Your atheist god is gravity? Like, what Who's the fuck? Atheist? Who's hey, atheist? You know Who's the atheist here? An bro, atheist here? I don't know. Bro, you have to here? be an atheist if you believe you fl- You believe right now you're on a spinning ball. Yes. You're a monkey. You- yes. 100% we're on a spinning ball right now because that's the only way fucking gravity works. Okay, where do I see curvature? Prove it. Listen, dude. Go, you oh, thought oh, that's oh, like, oh, listen, oh, dude. They can never do this part. I don't have the equipment. Yo, you're rich. Studio. You can do it. Go, get a GoPro without a fisheye lens, no wide angle lens, no fisheye. Uh-huh. He can do the, he's rich. He can do the weather balloon uh-huh. test. Uh-huh. You're supposed to see, you, you can't buy a GoPro. Put up, you fuck this shit. I'm ending this. Yo, check this out. Pull up the Red Bull jump. Put it on screen. It's time to humiliate the globalists. The dude who jumps out of the fucking Red Bull. Yes, go on YouTube. It's time. You guys are coming to Christ today. Let's go. Coming no, to Christ. Think, hey, it could be no resurrection today, brother. <laughs> and by the way, when, when Mary can have fucking kids without being fucked. Bro, you believe in the Big Bang Theory. That's I even know, gayer. I never said that. You said well, that's you the alternative. You said you believe in that. No, not no, me. No, no. That's the yeah. alternative. Is that the Red Bull jump? Yeah. Okay, put on screen so everyone can laugh at your religion. All right, let's see this garbage. Okay. Probably I should tell you in advance. Let's see the garbage, man. There's no ocean. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is it proving his point. Let me find more evidence. <laughs> well, it's just taking forever. I want to uh, uh, There's a quicker video uh, that doesn't What is this bullshit, man? This okay, is, yeah, look at this. I've never been a CIA language. popped their cherry on him. I've never, I just had a friend. I've never been a Langley. I was joking. I don't know any CIA guys, just one guy that's not even. Bought it. <laughs> Nick, Nick Fuentes, who beats Hassan Piker and everyone in a debate. At 19, he makes a million dollars, banned mm-hmm. off every platform. He's considered boy genius. Is he? He's the flat earther. Okay. Okay. And so remember, Nick, remember. Nick Fuentes is the flat earther? What, what, so you have what's to be the a, average so IQ of man? You, you what's the to, average you IQ? You have to be a white supremacist to be a flat earther. Is that what you're telling me? A Catholic nationalist, not what, white. Hey, you're thinking of Richard Spencer. What if Earth is just Born a on the dimension? Lens. Check this out. Chat. 99% of people on Earth, very low IQ. Look at the studies. 99% of people on Earth believe it's a globe. It's literally, they run parallel. Another thing, curvature, he'll never find it. If he does the experiment, you will never, ever see a curved Earth, no matter what you do, he no matter how you make do it. <laughs> I said, want a check, Catholic check nation. Make. Now, Checkmate. But you guys don't have a solution. If you guys were in power, you I, I, don't I, I, have a solution. Do you, don't you don't have, have a, a holy book to fix the state. I don't need a holy book. Why I would you fix it? With Bill Nye, the science guy? I need guillotines. I need guillotines. That. That's say, it. They're going to fucking chop well, your channel. Gonna He's stop. joking. They're going to take joking. your channel down. It's, 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 it's a, it's, it, it, listen, man. If you go back to the French Revolution, they took care of people in certain ways, man. That's all I'm saying. A Freemason invented the guillotine. It's satanic. Don't kill anyone. That's not a call to action. You're not telling people to kill no, All never right. I would do that. Mm. And like you would never say anything racist. Come on now. No, I'm not violent. I'm of not course I'm not, not black. Of course. It's it's like natural selection though. <laughs> no, the, the, the one liners are something else. We're man. about to get some steak, but before we get steak, the final conspiracy chat can choose no gay ones. Okay? No aliens, none of that stupid shit. The big one. And we JQ'd way too hard. Like let us breathe, bro. All right? We're Fucking, we're gonna, we're, and we're all feeling very suicidal today, by the way. Speak for yourself. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. What is the chat for us? This is your opportunity to step up. These are gay. We're gonna Tart- talk. Tartaria. You, you know. And these are your people, man. Really? Oh, that's more free energy. Dinosaurs. You believe in dinosaurs? No. What? You you like all dinosaurs? I believe in dragons. <laughs> I believe in dragons. But no dinosaurs? Yeah, I think they're pretty much the same thing. Oh, so you do believe in it? Even I, though, no, I, I named it differently. So when's my, the first so dinosaur my, bone so found? My reality is different. Chase, when's the first dinosaur bone ever found? I don't believe in dinosaurs. Beautiful. You know, that's, a, that's a good way to. You know when the bit. first the dinosaur bone was ever if found? Real. As late as the 1700s, and they teamed up with Darwinists to attack the Bible. Like mm-hmm. it's it, all bones in museums are replicas made out of mm-hmm. rat bones and resin. The real ones are in the Smithsonian Museum. But those are giants' bones. Like they used to be giants. It's the That's first because there was more about. oxygen on the earth back then, day, and because of that, people grew actually quicker, and so did animals as well. So the so Bible is correct again. Look at that. The Bible is correct, man. Science is first correct. First I mean, book we got on earth. Is crocodiles uh, like, written by a man. Around. The first book on earth brought every civilization in the game. Mm-hmm. Atheists and scientists just bring their rainbow flag. How come you can't spell Bible without the word lie? Explain that one to me. 
Coincidence. All right, yeah. though. Are we going to do this for a says coincidence. That's like a tap okay, out. Okay, do the N word. N I G G E R. Find something there. Go. I, I feel like, hold on. <laughs> Religion kind of keeps us a crook. stagnant. I'm kidding. Go. Like, do you get what I mean by that? Like, I feel like, do you feel like religion Stag, needs like man. an update? These, like, these two guys are fighting tooth and nail for a traditional society, and they don't realize it comes from biblical moral law. You guys are fighting for my movement. I, We're going to cut your heads off I first. don't need the Bible to tell me not to cheat on my wife. I don't need the Quran to tell me not to fucking steal. What? I know how to be a good person. How did you learn that? How did you and your ancestors learn that? Uh, you just woke up one day? My, 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 Without dad, the Bible? my dad instilled values in me. Would not, That's what happened. From the Bible. Now look not, at this. He wasn't, he wasn't Christian. It so doesn't no. matter. It's still everyone on earth has heard the Gospels for thousands of years. Bro. And look at this. Without the Bible, Missionaries. everyone in this chat and us three would be sucking cock <laughs> the bible <laughs> said stop it. sucking dick and oh, being gay God. this is where we got it from these are pagans this is yeah it's intuitive bro without the bible you guys are you got me like, fucked up you dude. really think you'd be look, like ah, i don't want to fuck the dude listen, bro listen, give me a break listen, listen, listen. it's in your subconscious never, from the scripture never would i ever fucking do anything like that because i worship my woman's body that's the one thing I worship. But how do you know you don't like men? It's from the Bible. How do I know I don't like it's men? It's in your DNA it's for thousands. Because like okay. when I see a woman, I'm fucking attracted to her. That's how I fucking know that. Oh, yeah. What if she's 17? Um, Yeah. If she's hey. like, can a 17-year-old girl be attractive to you? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Disney what, movies. Why do you want to talk about I, I just want to, I want to make a, I make, I'm making so, a broader so, point. So this is crazy. I'm no, talking about No, no, it's not crazy. Take even further. Sir, sir. No, I'm not taking it far. Why men, there be on TV watching something, like we watch something, and one guy will be like, yo, she's beautiful, she's hot, and they'll be like, no, she's 17. And you'll be like, oh, shit, I didn't know. Why? Take it West Virginia, don't matter. Right, that happens all the time. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. 16, That's, 14, those hicks don't care. That's what I'm saying is like all these kind of subjective opinions change over time. But for thousands That's of years, the Bible says stop being stagnant. gay. It's, just, it's the only stagnant. thing that You're stays. Involved. He thinks he's him and his ancestors are smart enough to think of 